how you had come up with a cunning plan to mm -hmm. get the cart free, but you remember right as you were trying to implement it, bad things kept happening. We were attacked. Yes, yeah. and how's Hansel doing now? I don't... Can you remind um, everybody? Hansel, did, did, did um, Radovan heal Hansel at the, last, at the end of the last I, session? Yes. I did heal him, and he was on the mend. Like, yeah. it was He healed going him away. Like nine, and he was, like, almost back to full health. So he, he Hansel's doing good. The heroic Hansel. Oh, am I healed from my negative one hit point that I lost? Um, <laughs> when, Probably. When did you lose it? Eh. Last time? <laughs> like, in this fight? Um... No? Yes. yes. Was it? Was you? it? No, it was with the goblins, wasn't it? Oh, then yes, yes. If it was with the goblins, you have got that hit point back. Yay! Alrighty. So, um, so do you want to continue? Because I remember the last thing you guys had done is you taken the rope and the grappling hook. Racer had tied it around the tree. Y'all right. were going to use the tree, the pulling on the rope for leverage and like trying to maneuver and the pony. adding some rocks to the and, right, and the wedging, yeah. wedging crap underneath the, the uh, and, and we also emptied out the back of the court the cart so it would be lighter. You know? Okay. Right. So do you wish to continue to do that? Yes. Probably. I don't want to go to sleep now. We just you know <laughs> I just sent Cuthbert to a bunch of zombies and ghouls and stuff. You know. <laughs> After we get the cart free, we can All think right. about that. Yeah. So let's do it. Let's uh, get into position. Some people pull, some people push, you know, make it happen. All right, let me go ahead and make a check for you guys. And let's see. Okay, yes, you are successful. Yay! The cart does finally pull free. Ugh. It jars up out of the rut and is now on slightly more solid ground. Um, so now you have your cart free. Um, bearing in mind that this place is still waterlogged and soggy and boggy. Yeah, um, so it's free for five feet. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about, um, you know, time-wise, you're looking like mid to mid to late evening. Well, All as, right. as tired as we are, I think we should press on, right? Try to find some a place of better refuge, yeah. you know? Yeah, we've yeah. got two little dead bit more trees. covered. <laughs> and two there's dead like trees uh, not skeleton cutting. bits all around. I don't want one of them coming alive and attacking me in the middle of the night, <laughs> yeah. you know? <laughs> So yeah, let's. So um, Radivan starts putting stuff back in the cart like that he took out when they were dislodging it. That's what I'm doing now. I did. You re you put everything back in the cart basically. You get everything resituated. Um, your guide Hansel says, "Well, we've really got two choices. We can either try to continue to navigate and get out of this boggy part, or we can stay here the night and hope it dries out by morning." Voice oh. is yours. <laughs> I say we go. I agree with Bradman. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I have nowhere to hide here, so I'm freaked right out. Racia is a hider, so <laughs> there's nowhere to hide. Yeah, that's damn true. You can't hide in the grasses, <laughs> Racia. Alrighty, so you guys basically, um, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna move on. Um, so, um, your guide Hansel picks up Pia's staff that is still laying on the ground. <laughs> um, and uses it to check for soggy parts as he as he basically wanders forward. Um, I am through, really missing this stuff right now. Wanders forward through the the fields of sorrow. Okay, well, um, you continue on till it's got, starting to get very dark. It has firmed up. The ground has indeed got firmer, and there are starting to be more crops of trees. Um, at this point. Ansel feels in his guidely capacity that um, this is probably the best place for you guys to stop unless you want to risk busting a wheel or something like that with the car. I trust Hansel. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn the Q&A off. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. <laughs> so, um... What do you want to do? You want to, you want to, you know, camp down here or do you want to push it anyway? I jump off the cart without consulting anybody. <laughs> what does the weather look like? The weather, it, it's its stopped raining. That's the good news. Um, you guys are about here now. Moving you along on the map. And there you are. Okay, so Progress! 
Let's see that so map. You, you guys on are right stream. here on the map. But you can see on the on the world map, you can see the ruins there that you uh these ruins okay. right here where you had the encounter with the goblins. Um around about here is where you got attacked by undead. And you're here. You're close to the edge of the fields of sorrow. Wow, that's nice. Can we see that? Um, technically no, because it's too dark. Okay, no, that's fine. Not even with the elven eyes? No, elven eyes allow you to see better, but they don't give you, like, bionic vision to see miles into the distance. Well, they should. <laughs> <laughs> bionic elven eyes, there you go. Okay, so, um, but yeah, that's where you are. Um, it's your choice. Okay. You can camp here, or you can push it. Um, um... Well, We've Kia, had two. Camp here. Go ahead. No, I was just thinking we had two battles before we slept, but no, we we did battle the goblins, slept, and then. Right. Yeah. yeah okay. You, so you rested after you had the encounter with the goblins. Um, you have not rested after you had the encounter with the. So it's down to you take guys. Take a snooze. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll take a rest. That, okay. So I mean, Kia already seems back. to have made her up her mind, so you yeah, know she's, I really she's need following my spells Hansel back. Waffle, <laughs> boy toy. I what really you know, need yeah. my spells. Your guide Hansel, um, he picks out what he deems to be the most secure spot. He finds a couple of large trees that will give you some shelter and somewhere to tie the horse and cart to. Um, we here. all know how his shelter picking fared last time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically what he says is um, I don't feel that we should light a fire tonight I know we're all wet and damp but uh, last time it didn't bode too well and we're awfully getting you know we're getting awfully close to the Grey Spear Mountain but as always he will defer to he will defer to your wisdom or your choice anyway otherwise <laughs> wisdom <laughs> I'm happy with the tree I, I'm going to tie myself in the tree Okay, so you're going, off. <laughs> you're climbing up the tree and tying yourself by rope, a la Katniss style. A la Katniss style, yeah. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Style, seriously. <laughs> what about Kia? Um, I'll, I'm going to sleep underneath the tree. Okay. At, kind of at the roots. And, and I'm going to ask for my uh, quarter staff back from Hansel. Oh, he ha hands it to you quite happily. Thank um. you. Radavan is going to make a little place in that cart and sleep underneath the tarp. The canvas, okay. whatever it is. That's what he's doing. All right. I would like to say something to Radavan, though, before we all sleep. <laughs> yes, Kia, what's up? What's going on? I just wanted to say that I underestimated you, and thank you, actually, for killing all those undead, because I think we would have died without you. Oh my god, was I'm glad that we have a cleric. What? I'm glad we have a cleric with us. Ooh. Honestly, I was really scared for my life. My heart's a flitter. My, my it's heart's a flutter. Actual that flitter. It's a flittering flutter. Yeah, no. Um, you know, I spent some time thinking about it while we were okay, okay. coming to this point, and please accept my apologies for uh, yelling at you beforehand. Wow. Well, okay. I said when we started this adventure that I would do whatever I could to make sure you guys are alive and stayed alive. And I'm still going to do that moving forward. So you are very welcome. Awesome. Well, then and, then, and then and I, I go I, back to my spot. Okay. <laughs> well, Hansel basically, he, he, he reaches inside his big, imag <laughs> as uh, Bane would say, his satchel of useless shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and pulls out basically um, a big old furry blanket, um, wraps it around himself, and he kind of wedges himself like between the wheels of the cart. Like laying one down is like a almost like a waterproof blanket, and he lays on top of it. So you've got um, Radavan on top of the cart, you've got Hansel underneath, we have um, uh, Racer up a tree, and Kieliana perched underneath the tree, looking the most uncomfortable of the gang. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well... I don't sleep well anymore. As it would happen, um, you do... Does anyone want to set up a watch or anything? Or I assume anything? I am taking a sleep, because I have been on the last two watches, and I am <laughs> not standing watch tonight. 
And right. I will not be either, or else I will not be able to help I the next we'll, day. Yeah, I think we're all going to be going to sleep. Well, Hansel, We're all risking it, I think. Hansel <laughs> says that he will sleep with one eye open. Thanks, Hansel. <laughs> and you, you can either trust him or not. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going right to sleep. Alrighty. I trust Hansel Falafel. Hansel Falafel. Hansel Falafel, indeed. Alrighty, so guys, you basically, um, you know, y'all get a pretty reasonable night's sleep under the circumstances. Yeah, you're damp, you're wet, but, you know, you're weary too, so you do sleep. Um, <gasps> dawn, survive! Dawn comes, nobody is dead, nothing kills you during the night. Yes! Um, so, um, everybody <laughs> is fully rested. Awesome. Um, so you have sorceress powers revitalized. Sweet. Um, Radovan, do you wish to take the time before you move on to, um... Oh, yeah. To St. Cuthbert? Oh, yeah. While they make breakfast, Let's see hopefully. It. See it happen. Right. Right. Okay. So you go ahead and do that. All right, so within about 30 or so minutes, you guys are ready to continue on your journey. Okay. Awesome. I'm, I'm DM, I'm praying. Hold on. Oh. Where's the angelic All right, music? I'm done. Yeah, the, oh, right. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, we're we good need to go. that. We I've need that cleric. sound effect. I've been cleric-a-sized. Oh. Right, I immediately That's jump perfect. in the front to be to be the one steering the horse. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move you guys along. You are now here. Ooh. So our intrepid adventurers basically have moved the edge they're coming out of the fields of sorrows and ahead of them not too far away are the foothills and the gray spire mountains ba, 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 ba. so i think Raisa, uh, being very kind of shaken up by the last attack she's gonna scout ahead she's gonna talk uh, she wants to talk to hansel falafel okay and find out if he knows anything about the area that we're coming into and then she wants to scout ahead Okay, um, he tells you, um, well, from the last times I was here, I can tell you that, you know, there's lots of unpleasant things living in their foothills, so don't travel too far ahead. Hey, I'll stay hidden. Alrighty. Okay, how, about how far do you want to scout ahead of the cart? Um, far enough that anybody who is along the road won't be able to hear before we get there. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so just Where, past please. um the sound distance, you know. Okay. Uh well, you continue to travel through most of the morning. Um at this point you're just still traveling across plains. It is not raining, however, so it's finally let up on the rain, which is great because That's awesome. you're starting to dry Ooh. out and it's not as miserable. Okay. Um by mid mid afternoon, however, you're starting to get to pretty rough terrain. Um, you're having to very carefully maneuver that horse and cart. Um, and there are times when you literally have to, like, back up and re-maneuver it to try to get it through some of the rocks and stuff like that. It's getting harder and harder and harder to maneuver. This is good. We're on rocky terrain, so we can start searching for the, uh, plant. Right? Um, and yeah, how long till the full moon? Um, you have another couple, oh, you have another couple of days. Couple of days, okay. Okay. But it's supposed to be found somewhere within this region, right? I mean, as long as blood has been shed in that particular area, it, and it's rocks. it exists. Oh, we can shed some blood if you guys want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if, if there needs to be blood, y'all can cover that. I, I have a person in mind I can slay, you know, Hans Falafel, mostly. <laughs> well, towards the late evening, um, you notice some drifting smoke from a possible small campfire. And it's coming from this area. Can I continue continue to scout ahead, silently um, and can. unseen? Do you, so, do that? you wish to go ahead? Um, I mean, it's fairly open. Smoke can be seen pretty high, so that's probably still five. Or, um, that's still probably about five miles away. Okay. Um, well, I'll confer with my party and ask them. Uh, you guys, there's smoke ahead. Do you want me to scout and see if I can? Um, see anything, or see what it's from. Um, yes. I'll, um, I have my message spell, so I'll contact you, uh, at a distance to see how things are going. 
perfect. Yeah, given the fights that we've had, a little scouting will not go amiss, and they'd hear me coming a mile away, so I'm going <laughs> to stay back here. Right. But a few miles is a bit too far for my spell, but when I get in range of you, I'll, I'll, right. I'll see what's going on. <laughs> okay, so Raysa is going to scout Ooh. ahead. Okay, Racer, go ahead and give me... Uh, I'm assuming you're going to want to scout ahead by being quiet and not seen, right? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, so go ahead and give me a uh, move silently roll first, if you will. Ooh. Oh, bam! 21, okay. So you stealthily sneak ahead. Um, and now you can go a- ahead and give me um, a hide check also. Hide, okay. BAM! Like a boss! Oh, 20! Great 20. Oh, 20. Roll that 20, girl. Well, the the almost invisible. Basically, you see you guys see Racer disappear ahead of you. And yep. within like 10 or 15 feet, there's nothing but like where did she go? There's like Can shadow. Can you do you see where she went? I don't. I, I'm an elf. I can see well in the dark, but not in the... Is this fog? What is like, this? It's just dark, but she's like gone. It's just dark. Lisa has disappeared into the ship. Alright. Well, okay. I am concerned already. I'm going to message her with my spell. Oh, you're going oh, to use Whisper? Yeah, <laughs> I have it for... It'll go for a while, so okay. might as well start it now. Um, what are you whispering? Just, I'm going to say, Erisa, are you okay? I can't see you. I can't see anything. Yeah, I'm fine. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's all like it's just it just is so dark, but it isn't. They can. <laughs> okay, uh, racer. As you so basically, you're the only one that this information applies to. All right. Um, okay. You continue ahead, and you can see a large kind of almost what seems to be like char-stained rock formation. You can hear low murmuring <laughs> talking. Um, coming from behind some of the rocks. Let me check your languages real quick. Um, and I will tell you if you understand it. Um, you do not understand it. However, it is like a guttural rough kind of sound. Oh no. Um, Orcsises. And you can see the smoke from the campfire <laughs> rising above the rocks. So, oh, um, precious. What do you want to do? Um, okay, I'm going to listen and see how many voices I can hear. Okay. Hopefully getting a rough number of how many things. Okay, so you're just going to try to like eavesdrop for a little while and see if you can kind of figure out how many different voices are speaking. Yes. Alrighty. Um, you, after about five minutes, you've heard at least three or four voices. Okay. Um, well, I should probably report that to my cohorts. Okay. So, um, you're going to go back to these guys, um... I'm going to go back just until I can get Kia's ping, so I don't have to go all the way back. So you're within walkie-talkie range of Kia. Yes, of Kia. Kia. AT and Kia, range. right. <laughs> yeah, AT and Kia. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Okay. <laughs> And so yeah, once you once you get close enough, you can communicate with Kia via whisper. Yes. Kia, over. <laughs> no, I'm going Did to tell her I'll, I'll tell her everything I just saw, and uh, maybe see if we can s- tell Hounds of Falafel and see what he suggests. Maybe we can steer around this way. Did it sound any like? Was it orc? Was it? Did it sound uh, like or didn't you couldn't understand it, right? I, I don't under, I did not understand it. It's very guttural though. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna relay that to the rest of the group and figure out what we should do about this. Hansel says that um, we could attempt to navigate round. He says, but at this time, you know, at this time of night, it'll be way too dangerous to try to navigate in this dark with all these rocks. We either need to stay here and hope that they don't find us, or if you ask my opinion, we should go over there and take care of the threat first. We would have the Wait. element of surprise, after all. I'd like to send uh, Cal out to sneak around and see what Cal can see. All right, there we go. Cal time. An idea! Boom! <laughs> Aha! Cal is my cat. Familiar, if anybody all right, doesn't know. So, you let Cal out of the bag. 
<laughs> Let I the do. cat out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh no! All the puns. Okay, so what are you gonna do with um, how far? I mean, you're gonna you wanna like move up some distance with him, or want to just leave it to leave it? To... I'm hoping we can go a, a little bit farther up, so we're not like miles away. <laughs> At least, maybe like a mile out. What do you guys think? You guys, I mean, you know, there is a good distance between you and there, so all of you could move up a couple of miles if you wanted to. Right, that's, that's what I want. Instead of waiting for like an hour and a half while Rexia <laughs> comes back. Radovan? Oh, you you want my opinion now? <laughs> yeah. I... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was just a useless pile of junk over here. You know, you guys talking in your apology? little code. Was my apology for I'm nothing? Not, I'm not mad at you as much as I'm mad at that rogue, or whatever her name is. Risa. <laughs> oh. Where are you? All right. All right. So you guys we walk, have moved we walk within, forward. Y'all have moved within kind of a, a lot closer distance. It is late. Um, Kia Liana has moved a little bit ahead. With a tremors. Thank you for the follow. Uh, has moved a little bit ahead Nervous. with her familiar cow. Okay, so let me look for what can you? I need. To... I'm so excited. We have a we have we have a cowling. We have an actual cow happening. Today. Yay! I'm so happy. Cow does not. <laughs> if, for those cow of you needs that don't, more cow time. is basically Kia's cat that spends 95 percent of his life <laughs> stuffed in a bag. It, it, it's <laughs> cow animal Poor cruelty. Cow. It's a terrible uh. thing. It, it should not be allowed. Magical it's familiars not true. and all. <laughs> the like, the only like place Radavan would be water. happier is if he was if Cal was dead. But he <laughs> likes that Cal is stuffed in his pouch or whatever. <laughs> he likes just, that just... Cal stuffed in his pouch. What is that all about? <laughs> in, in the pouch or whatever, <laughs> not his pouch. That's a little weird. Okay, guys. So for the for the the uh, for the benefit of our viewers and only Fantaga, thank you for the follow. Um, okay, so on the map. And Storm D, thank you for the follow. Follow train. Ching ching. Um, Do we need cowbell? I got cowbell. Hey, I, 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 I'll go for some cowbell. Let's look. You can never have enough cowbell. Follow train. <laughs> there it is. Right. Thank you. Um, okay, so um, on the map that you guys see, there you are, Kia Liana, and look. There she is, or he is. There's Cal. It's Cal. Oh, God. He's a little small, but you know what? Okay. What do you want to do with Cal? I believe I'm you have full control Cal of Cal, Cal as well as yourself. To... <laughs> I'm going to ask Cal to go around. Uh, can Cal understand? Yeah, go around to the right side and just sneak around. Don't be seen, but just see. Uh, I want to see if Cal gets frightened or not, or if maybe uh, they seem friendly, harmless. I move him where you want him to go for me. All right. I can't, unfortunately. Oh, can you not? <laughs> Hold, let me check. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, oh, you know what? Here you go. He is now movable. There you go. By Kia. I think. I move him. A little bit on top of, on top <laughs> and behind that big rock there. Uh -oh. Cal, let's do. Hold on. Oh, there we go. All right. So, so Cal moves up behind the main rocks. Okay. Um, yes. the, the smoke is kind of coming it's from so this area here. Okay. Well, I guess you gotta keep on tracking Cal. Coming out around here. Right, bearing in mind, Cal oh. can climb on the top of these rocks very easily. This is nothing. That's true. How how high are how high are the rocks? Uh, 20, 30 feet. But that's nothing okay. for Cal. Okay, I just don't want it to be like not super tall rocks where he's like at eye level with okay. these guys. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Cal gets to here, and this is what Cal. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sitting around a campfire are four rather grotesque creatures. Four ugly looking humanoids, thick muscular arms and legs gray skin, thick coarse hair, and tusks in their mouths. It would appear you have come across what a, uh, a small gang of orcs. 
Each has a large and vulgar looking cleaver or falchion at his side. The clothing is blood red and purple. Now, bearing in mind, of course, this is only what Cal sees. Right. So, um, after that, and, and but you have empathy with Cal now, so you can you can kind of yeah. get Cal's emotion. Which I'm guessing is not good. Okay. Uh, and and uh, just a side note: don't forget your um, character background when it comes to the what? Uh, oh, your character background. Are they orcs? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no! I don't know. Orcs so, can look um... different. <laughs> I heard humanoid. They are small oh. kittens. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping the, the, the line that you have, you have come, you have, you have come aw- across what appears to be a small band of orcs would have given it away, but if not, you know what? <laughs> that, that, that reaction timing, though, was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, so Cal has observed I can... the orcs, and they have not seen Cal. From the feeling I get from Cal, I, I think I know that these are orcs because right. I've been around orcs in my past. So I am absolutely sure they're orcs, and I'm not happy about it. Okay. Um, do you hate them enough to try to take them on by yourself, or do you want to go back and tell everybody? No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go back, and Cal's gonna check back. Alrighty. Okay, so um, Cal and Kia come back to the main group, and uh, what do you want to tell these guys? Well, guys, it's not good. There's, uh, I don't know how many, but there's orcs out there. And that's what's causing the, uh, smoke. In my personal opinion, I would, I would probably just like to try to go around these guys. I want nothing to do with them. If we fight them, I'll I'll kill them, but I would first rather try to go around them. Uh. We're gonna lose a lot of time if we do that, though, right? My mic is buggy. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit of static. Okay. It, like, how much time? I mean, how long do you think we'd lose if we tried to sneak around them? Uh, well, the problem is it's pitch black, and you can't move the cart through this rocky terrain without the ability to see well. Right. So, worst case scenario is we we stay the night out of sight and hope they move on. Well, Hansel's fear is that they will discover you before you, you know... He's worried that they're going to basically find you guys first. So the choice is, do they descend upon you unsuspected, or do you descend oh, upon no. them unsuspected? Hansel is like, we should we should jump them. We'll have the element of surprise. Let's take them out while well, we can. Oh, they're all up, Hansel. All right. Falafel, shut up. All right. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. <laughs> person that I knew the most in my entire life was slaughtered by orcs. I hate orcs with a passion. And if they're already going to come sneak up on us, I'd rather sneak up on them and slice their throats and kill them because I don't want to look at them. Nothing. I just want to get rid of them. I'm okay with taking them out. Maybe they have shinies. Well, if we're going to, I mean... They may. I can't sneak, guys. Like, the second I start lumbering up there, they're going to hear me. My thought is try to set up a trap, you know? Use Kia's grease Ooh. and maybe some fire. I make my move. They approach me. You guys stay hidden. We blast them to hell and set them on fire. And that's what's coming through my mind. Because the, the fire will also help me fight them. Because I can't see in this bitch black. So if you guys can set up that trap, I can probably get up there, hopefully shoot one of them dead, take them out right to start, and then uh, run back and lead them to Right, us. And, and I'll be standing there, very visible. I'll light my shield ab- ablaze, you know, with my inner awesomeness. So it'll be like a huge beacon. They can't miss it. Maybe maybe that's what we should do. I mean... Sounds Kia, good. I... What do you what do you think? Kia? She's working on her mic. Her mic's muted. Oh, uh, okay. Give, give Kia All right. a <laughs> I don't know if it's fixed, but Sounds I good. think that's the reason. Sounds great. 
right. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set like a grease trap, you know, like here maybe. Right. Do we have a source of fire that we can uh, exploit? Okay. Well, um, here's the thing. So you guys want to? So you guys are gonna sneak up. Yeah, I'd like to up on the rocks and shoot up from overhead. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put you uh, before you. Let's boot, let me move you back to where you were before. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. So our intrepid adventurers are over here. This neck. Rooks are over behind the rocks. Okay, so you can see the smoke rising. Um, so, first of all, Raysa, you want to move into a prominent position behind the rocks, yes? Uh, yeah, where I can basically shoot my bow and hopefully headshot one of them down to begin the encounter, and then we're down, right, you well, know, I'm not going to make four. you make another move silently roll because you have already extremely skillfully navigated this terrain. So move yourself where you would like to be in position. Okay. Begin. Is there... Right, Oops. so you're moving right up here on top of these rocks and just like laying low. Ready? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. All right, awesome. That's not where I say you should go. Well, you know what? She's too far away unless you want to yell out at her. Raisa! No. Raisa, no. I wouldn't go there if I were you. I... <laughs> She is not... where she is. Yeah. Um, Rest assured, where she goes, she's hidden. Um, yeah. So, where would you like to how go? do we get how do we get these orcs to go that way and not scatter and go left and right? Uh, but mind you, you guys, uh, I wouldn't just run and do this. I would say this, I want to go up top where Cal was, and you guys could interject Radavan before I move. I'm just this is just for showing you where I'd like to go. It's not I am going. Okay, so you're gonna tell them I'm going over there and getting on top of the rock. But yeah. At that point, do you want to? What do you want to say? Do you want to interject Radavan or? Well, yeah, I would say why don't you be in a more defensible position here? Because if they do fall for the trap, they're going to be running up this little way right here, you know, coming straight for us. Hopefully, I mean, if they're you know smart, they would try to flank us. But if you were over here, we could have the trap set at this point, and then they would be dead. They would be killed over in these er this area. Can That's kind of what I was thinking. From here, can I still get an arrow off of them? Like, how far is this now? Well, you would have to be... Um, that Count these as tens. Don't use that. Okay, so... <clears throat> so basically... So I want my point blank advantage. You'd have to be about here to be able yeah. to see them where they are right now. Because you've got to be able to look over the bluff and down. You've got to be pretty close to the edge. That's like a 20, 30 foot drop. Yeah. That goes down to where the orcs and their campfire are. So I kind of got to go there. You got to be then. pretty close if you want to get a shot off. But not if we're drawing them into the trap. See, that's what Rad. That's what right. See, right. Rad eventually say. So do you just want we like want a... them to move away from their campsite, thinking they have the upper hand because they're uh, responding to a sound that I'm making. So you don't want me to try and take one out so that we have a, a well, one man advantage. But then they'll be all over you, and I'll be. We'll you know, Kia, Hans Falafel, and myself will be too far away. Like, you probably would succeed yeah. in assassinating one, but then they'll all be on you, and I can't get to you in time to save you. Like, that okay. would be bad for you. Okay. Fair okay. enough. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so... Okay. Strategizing here, guys. So what's the adjustment in strategy? <laughs> then I'm going to hide. Okay. So, so maybe you... once you guys make the noise and they start running, I can take one out around here. Okay. Before they get to the trap here. Right. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna hide in the undergrowth. Give me Actually, a. Yeah. Okay. Where like Maybe, maybe behind the rock, so that when they come this way, I can see them. Or no, maybe back closer to you guys. Okay, so in right. the undergrowth. Yes, we'll go with that. All right. Okay, so you're gonna be right here, waiting for them to show up. Okay. Yeah. Um, give me a hide check, then, please. Risa. Oh, that hide. Roll hide. Okay, so um, bearing in mind you don't know how well or how well not, how unwell you are hidden, but you are in the undergrowth right here. Yes. Okay, so once you guys see Raysa move into position, what's your plan of action? Seems like that. Uh, I'd like, like to go around to the other side, so we split up a little bit. Okay. Um, do and you want to try I'll to? Cast my spell. Do you want to try to hide anywhere, or are you just going to kind of like? Um, I was hoping you. there was a rock around here. Okay, so you're gonna, 
So you're going to basically put yourselves like here behind these. Like, behind the rock. rocks. Okay. Yes. And we'll put Cal with Okay, yes. Radavan, um, where do you wish to be? And do you wish to give instruction to Hansel where he where you want him to be? I want him to be right next to me. Like we're two lonely men on the road. Manly men. Hey, <laughs> manly men. And the grease the idea for a grease trap would be around here, right at the end of the rocks, because it's slippery right, and right. you know, they can fall and maybe take some damage. Okay. But, but very you're, visibly. You're hoping to lure them through this slight little pass here. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't don't ask that question like you're gonna change it up on us. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, you're the, way, the way you talk, man. The way you talk. It's what you don't to realize me. is these orcs have superpowers. They're gonna fly up over the rock. No. Okay. okay. So um, <laughs> we got you. All right. So you're all in position now. How do you wish? What? How are you baiting your trap? Well, the idea is, <laughs> I would go you. <laughs> Well, no, 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 we don't want them to think that there's something going to kill them. Okay. Uh, well, something that's... So, like, because, something that they're just... just that they're going to be curious about. Well, you know, I know. If I was four uh, like, oh, and what's I that? heard, yoo-hoo, in the dark, I probably wouldn't immediately <laughs> think, oh my god, some terrible monster is out there about to kill me. <laughs> it said, yoo-hoo, oh my god. What do you orcs love? Giggles number one. Oh my gosh! Um, no, I would I would say to Hansel Affel, I think here's a great place to set up camp. I mean, I, I'd say it very loudly too. Okay. And I, I would also that. use my cleric spell light, my zero level cleric spell, and light my shield. Okay. Because so you're to see. Up the shield. Yeah. Hey, this is a good place. Can... To... Right. Okay. There you go. Not a problem. Well, as soon as you do that, you hear. Like all the little grunt, all the all the low. Um, does any of you? Do any of you speak orc? I do. Uh, Kia, uh, Kia does. Okay, so prior to could've... that, they're basically you hear them arguing about. Um, you know, they're like, "I'm sick and tired of eating nothing but rats." <laughs> and, and now, it, me and Kia can still communicate, right? The whisper spell is still activated. Yes. Okay. You two can yeah. still whisper. Okay. After a while, they seem, suddenly seem distracted when they hear a, This looks like a great place to camp! <laughs> suddenly they I need to quiet. cast my grease spell before they come. <laughs> okay, so you're greasing this area right here. Okay. We will go ahead. Hint! Hint! Bloody hint, yeah. Um, right, so this area here... Now great. Okay. What, what is the actual rate? Well, how much? What is the um on your grease spell at your level? Do you know how uh, much the um? Twenty five feet plus five feet per two levels. Okay, so you're looking at thirty feet. Okay, so yes. you can grease um like this area here. So that whole area Ooh. is greased. Lots Damn. of lots of lots of greasiness. Is there any way that we have to set it on fire? I, that was the other thing, because it's grease, right? It's flammable. Um, it, it's, you don't no, want them it, to know there's not, grease. It's not actual ground. grease. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. a magical it's just like, a grease. Spell. See, freaking mages are useless. Let's have I'm fake not a mage. grease. <laughs> Whatever, same thing. <laughs> Let's have wow. fake grease that we can't light a blaze. But you know, it's what is called <laughs> Radavan. Yeah, Radavan. Uh, not Cuthbert. I don't approve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. All right. Okay. Um, so not long after that, for the orcs, you kind of notice them, like, coming up through the canyon, through the gaps. In the two of them are coming this way. However, two of them I mean, Of course. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> initiative time. Yep, let's go ahead and get initiative <laughs> rolls for everybody. Uh, oh, shoot. So, um, let me jot these down. 18. Okay, so Raysa is on a 18. Um, guys, don't forget to ch um, to set your, um, tag yourselves on your rolls, because it's only, it's probably. Oh. Um, so we got Raysa is on an 18. Get it. This year, 18. Yeah. 
Twenty. Twenty. Rather than the Rania on an eight. Wah, and, wah. and yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> and we have. Hands of falafel. falafel on a fifteen. Okay, let me make my orcs. Okay, so the orcs begin to come into sight and into view. They're moving extremely slowly, however, because they're being stealthy. Okay. So this first orc. Um, okay. He kind of hesitates a little as he steps on the grease and he feels his feet are slippery but he doesn't slip oh no he kind of glances back behind him and says to the other orc watch your step it's all slimy so this orc is now suddenly oh, like no. looking very very cautious um sadly the grease spell does not seem to have affected the what um, oh no! Well, normally, <gasps> when you cast grease, it's terrible. you know they're all charging forward and stuff at a high speed. These guys are moving very, very slowly. Dang it! <laughs> so they didn't they didn't slip and slide on your on your grease spell. My um, arrow thing would have been better to get them running. Uh, you wouldn't have known, would you? <laughs> so um, okay, that's Rachel, true. In hindsight, position, that's true. From your position, you can see these two guys moving up from the side, starting to flank round. Um, these two are here. Okay, these two orcs have seen Radovan and Falafel. Now, at that point, <laughs> they both start, like, getting their shields ready and easing forward, like, very unsuredly on their footing because they know that it's slimy and wet and they don't like the way it feels under their feet. But they're, like, moving towards you together. Being that you're the only ones visible, these two now, this side started also to kind of like move up um, looking at you guys they're like moving into position um, so they're still at this point they're unaware of Raysa and they're unaware of um, Kia. Kia come on <laughs> okay right um, so what do you guys want to do Oh my god. Um, okay, well, Kia gets to move first, or gets to react first. Right, indeed. Um, so, can, Kia, what do you want to do? Can Raysa whisper to me before my first move or no? Um, well, Probably. She can whisper to you at any time, whether or not it happens before your move or not is up to is It depends. So, what, what do you. But are you asking. I mean, does, does, uh, does Raysa want to whisper to Kia? I'm um, just wondering if she wants to tell me that they're coming around I, the other side too or not I would think I would yeah tell her uh, there's two by me they haven't seen me yet okay alrighty okay so you know that there's two more that you can't see what do you want to do yeah um uh, okay I would like to I wonder how many turns it would take me to go all the way behind the rocks to approach from behind. Like around here? Each one of yeah. these is 10 feet, so... Oh, 10, wait, 20, no. 30, 40, 50, yeah. It would I mean, take a looking, long time. Yes. That's not that's yes. not a thing. Way, okay. way too long. All I right. guess I'll start by... I mean, you can choose to hold your action if you want. You don't have to go now. I kind of want to, because I don't that's want what I to... That's what I would do. I don't want to give up my okay. location yet, so that's a good idea. Oh, okay, so Kia's so holding her action. Raysa, what are you going to do? I'm going to... Seeing as these guys are focused on Radovan and Pantel, I'm going to simply sneak further this way to get a better vantage point when they move in with my arrow. Okay. Or do I can I would I be able to get in? No, no, no. Okay, I'm yeah. I'm not gonna attack. I'm just gonna sneak around. Okay. Um, you will have to make a move silently roll, since as you're moving okay. very close to them. Come on. Well, I would move further away, but there's the map's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so sorry. Move silently. Yep. Oh fuck. Oh no. Okay. As you start moving oh, no. through, you 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 like hear a loud snap under your feet as you like cringe like oh. Um, this orc here like spins around suddenly to look, and you was a you, you was about here. Um, 
So like, as you're sneaking round, he suddenly like <clears throat> looks round. Um, okay, suddenly uh, here, you you understand him say, "There's more over here hiding in the bushes." You guys hear, blah, 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 blah. Um, and as soon as that <laughs> happens, these two orcs suddenly start rushing directly, crashing through the tr- um, through the undergrowth towards you. Okay, um... What oh do my you, gosh. Um, uh, okay, so Hans Falafel, seeing this, yells loudly, Ah! And charges into the first orc. <laughs> do um, that yell again, please. Ah! <laughs> um, trying to get his attention. Um, Shiggles too! wildly and misses. At the, misses the first orc. Um, but he does cause somewhat of a distraction and at least... Gets this guy to pay attention to God, him. God, this guide. Hey, this guide, awesome. man. Without this him, guide. you would all be toast by. This <laughs> kind of acting. Okay, the orcs now. Um, seeing all of this going on and being aware, orc one here um, is charging straight to Rasa and swings at you with his massive, sharp, falchion y weapon. Oh, and he hits you. Oh my god. Can I one million I, damage? No. Can I evade? <laughs> no, it's not. You can't evade an attack. You can evade like evading through. Right, um, so. I don't like that rule. <laughs> so the good uh, news or the bad news? Oh no! I'm sure, right, it's okay. all bad. Um, the orc basically comes flying down with his massive falchion. I mean, we're talking about a weapon that's blade is like this wide. It's like a giant meat cleaver attached to a handle. It kind of slashes hard into your side, doing seven points of damage. Oh my goodness. No. We're done. So Rasa is definitely not feeling um, not feeling well from that. I mean, it's a, it's a mighty blow. You feel the force as it crashes into your ribs, like wincing in pain. That's over half my life right there. Right. The other orc lunges at Hansel. Like, Hansel swiftly moves aside and blocks it with his longsword. These two orcs now are still knowing how unsure their footing is, moving forward carefully, trying to avoid slipping and sliding. <laughs> this guy moves no. to here. This oh, guy gosh. moves to here. <laughs> but they're still like not engaged on you guys. Okay. Radovan, Rania, what are you doing? Save us, Radovan. Well, I mean, turn if these I bitches, <laughs> if I if I turn to try to heal Risa by moving down there and then casting a heal, well, that's thirty. They'll get an attack of opportunity, 30. right? This yeah, guy 30. will right here. Yeah, I mean, you've got thirty feet to get to, so all you would be able to do is rush to Risa. This guy would try to hack and cleave at you, right? Um, so. I guess I, I just have but to. But um... Race is still alive. She's still on her feet. She's not on her ass. Yeah, right. she might die okay. next turn. <laughs> no. yeah, I mean, you know, you don't really know just how bad things are. Right. So I I approach and attack essentially. Okay. Swing the morning star of justice at the please. Uh, one d twenty plus three. Right. So that's what uh, we had. One d twenty plus. Because I leveled one. Three. Yes. Radovan. Radovan. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> God, you suck. We need to run. <laughs> I'm going to die! Radovan swings the Morning Star of Justice in a kind of willy-nilly sort of... <laughs> way. <laughs> no, the orc manages to parry the blow aside with his shield. Okay, um, where are we at? Back to Kia. Now, Kia, um, you can yes. act this round now if you want to before the next round because you held your ha- you held your action. So as long as you do something that's like an instant thing, like magic missile or something quick, you can still act before the next round happens. Wait, what? I can so I can uh, magic missile and move. No, you can't move. But because you basically you you had you won the initiative, you were at the top, and you held to wait. Right. So like right. you're like watching to see what happens, kind of like on an Overwatch type thing. Right. So before the next round starts, if you want to, you can take your action that you were holding on to before the next round starts. Might as well do it. 
But it has to be something that's kind of instantaneous. Save me! Yeah, I'd like to run around here as, co- as far as I can go, because I want to try to... Okay, so you're basically... You're there. To, okay, yeah, you can get to about, about here. So you're going to use your... You're going to basically take a move action. Yes. All right. Now it is actually your turn, so what do you want to do on your turn? <laughs> All right, let's see. I need to... Can I reach Magic Missile, the one that's attacking Raysa yet? Oh, easy, yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Save okay. me! So you have a magic <laughs> missile, Do it. this orc here. Okay, roll yeah. D4 plus one. <laughs> okay, I pinch him. I pinch him in the <laughs> Okay, you're glowing ball of... Magic count number three. Shiggles are real tonight, guys and gals. <laughs> oh, never say pinch your nipple. <laughs> Come on, guys. That's, not, that's like you're cheating here. You're hacking. Wow. Just... You're hacking my brain. Yeah. Your Arcane missiles. Okay, so your magic missile hits the guy for two points of damage. Yes. Um, it gets his attention, but it doesn't do a whole. Raysa, you have this guy toe to toe with you. What do you want to do? Um, well, I guess we got a short sword. Run. It. Okay. Run. Or maybe maybe I should run. I don't know. If you run, he will get an attack of opportunity on you. Short sword! Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, your short sword attack, um, you leveled up, so you're at 1d20 plus. Your so short sword. Scared. Why is it not there? Oh. I it's a, it. it's there a little. It oh, thank God. No, oh. Oh, nice. Oh. Um, no, that's actually, we all know I can't roll damage. But you rolled, well, the thing is, you rolled a 19, which is a possible crit for a short sword. So roll to hit again. You may actually crit this guy. Another oh, d20? Crit. Yep. Oh, crit. Oh, so basically, crit. make a second attack roll, and if the second oh. one hits, it counts as a crit. Oh, so what does God. it have to be, at least? Um, you don't know. <laughs> okay, ready? Don't know Here we go. How and how tough these guys are. Here we go. Yes, yes, it is a crit. Yes. Okay, so do 1d6 plus 1 damage and double it. Oh my god, do it. 1d6 plus 1, one and times 2 or just... Uh, just add? roll it and then we'll double it. 1d6 plus 1. Yeah, oh, bitches! Oh, Racer, finally oh, deal some damage. Uh... Okay, you <laughs> lunge out of the bushes with your short sword. Sticking it right up under the guy's chin and it like oh, pokes up through the back of his head, like <laughs> and pull it out, and he just like, shudders for a few seconds and then slumps dead on the floor. Epic. Awesome. A racer. Racer took this guy to the cleaners. And there would be poison on my sword, by the way, just so you know. Not oh, that no. that matters in his Not case. That it matters, but... <laughs> <laughs> if anybody was gonna try to heal him, they'd have to they'd have to work twice as hard. Okay, so he is done. Like hey, dinner. He's yeah. done like Bush Bunny. Fatality. <laughs> so yes, he is. He is out of there. He is wasted. Excellent job. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank Cuthbert. Thank Thanks, Saint Cuthbert. Right. <laughs> it was all my doing. Was, uh, you know. And there probably would have been a little bit of ah! with that. <laughs> a bit of screaming going <laughs> on. Go through his pockets okay. quickly. Um, with this, it me off. Hans Falafel lunges at his orc, and he fumbles. Uh, Dude, this guy is useless. I don't know what he is. I need to charm him again. As He's not Hans Falafel anymore. lunges forward, he kind of stumbles and puts himself in a rather vulnerable position. Um, the orcs now. Hans Falafel's orc seizing the opportunity. Swipes at his head. Fortunately for Hans Falafel, as he stumbled, dropped his head down and the sword literally went shoo right above it. Um, so the orc missed him. Um, meanwhile, Radovan Rainier, in typical Radovan style, Uh-oh. has now got two orcs to deal with. Typical. Okay, the first orc swings at Radovan with his falchion, missing. The second orc lunges forward. This time he is more successful. Uh-oh. Blocking. As he brings his wild swing falchion <laughs> with his mighty Blocking. orcish muscles crashing into your left side, doing oh. eight points of damage. Ooh. Are you serious? You oh my God. did he did he take my tattoo too? Please, maybe yeah, like did if he, any orc roll? hits me, I am dead. Oh. By the way, yeah, there you go. That, well, that's enough for you to realize. I mean, literally, seeing the, these guys have got huge, like Hulk-like arms. When they oh. hit, it's like smack, 
We're talking like ultimate brute force versus any kind of finesse. Um, but now it is your turn to act, Radovan. What do you want to yeah. do? If Same you thing. Crawl on a ball and cry like a little girl. That's okay. <laughs> I'll do that after, but I'm gonna attack this motherfucker. I'm gonna get him. Okay. With Bring my epic rolls. Justice. Your there we yeah! go. Yeah! Bam. Okay. Roll your damage. D8 plus three. No, it's plus two. Plus two. That's right. I believe. You haven't got your bless. Yeah, I don't have my bless. There we yeah! go. Bam. That's awesome. Eat it. Okay. Radaban brings the mighty morning star of St. Cuthbert, crashes into the orc, right upside the head. You hear a gratifying crack as his neck breaks with the force of the blow. And orc this, this orc motherfucker. is no more. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I, I need like I need a I need a, a something to say when I do that, you know, like the power of St. Cuthbert! No, oh, orc, orc, this motherfucker is not alive. I will avenge thee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You killed my father. How about, to how die. about, God, I need a drink. Yeah, right. <laughs> there it is. Or, St. Cuthbert, I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> or, where's the whiskey? I like by it. the power, yeah, by the power you of... You got whiskey? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, continue. <laughs> okay, so, um, we are over to Kia. It is your turn. What do you want to do, Kia? All right. Uh, sh wondering if I should blast at the orc that's hitting Hansel or the one that's going after Radavan. Well, Radavan just got mightily cleaved by the orc. Yes. So and Hansel for, does fact, like it. But for some reason, I'm still unsure. But Are you serious? Are two. Falafels <laughs> useless, man. What are you going? I got a boo boo, man. I need a band aid. Let's go. It is versus where the orcs are. If she goes right. for the one that's on Hansel, she has to go through him. If she goes to the one by Radavan, she has a direct line of sight. Straight. Okay. Well, she's, the thing is, she's using a magic missile, so she doesn't have to worry about. Oh magic well, the missile. I always, I always hit. It's just like a... she don't miss. Yeah, well... Okay, so who you... Who all right, you, I'm going to help out Radovan here. Thank okay. you. You're going <laughs> you, to ping this guy, okay. I'm going to just give him a little... Give him, give, him a, give him a pierce nipple or whatever oh, you call it. Oh, sweet. There you go. Nice. <laughs> the power of the magic missile. Okay, your blue ball of light fries through the here's, air, here's smacking my... the orc in the side. He's like... <laughs> it actually, like, knocks him slightly off balance, and he, like, moves, like, half a feet with the... Ooh. Awesome. Um, you can see like the glow of the as it like dissipates across his whole left, uh, his whole right side. He's in serious pain. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> right. You like that? Yep. Your grease spell is gone. Um, okay. Oh. So, uh, Racer, you now yes. there's no orc toe to toe with you. This orc is locked in mortal combat with this guy. Um, you could, in theory. Sneak up behind him and shank a bitch. <laughs> well, let's see here. All you'd have to do is make a successful move silently roll. What kind of medieval fantasy goes. world are we in where you can shank you know a bitch? But she see, my die. bow is more, it does more damage. <laughs> no, not if you get a successful shank because you'll get a backstab. It doubles your damage automatically. Dude. And should you roll a crit. Okay, let's shank a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, move silently. Let's see. Don't botch. Come Don't on, come botch. On, come on, come on. Twenty-four. Oh, All right, no problem. You successfully moved directly behind the guy. Okay, <laughs> make an attack roll, but his dexterity doesn't count for armor, so he's a lot easier for you to hit because he doesn't know you're there. This is kind of like where you're sneaking up behind him and you're just gonna like grab him behind the mouth and just stab your sword into his back. Okay, so this is only a plus one because it's melee, right? Uh, yeah, but he's actually easier to hit, so. 21. Oh, a natural, natural 20. 20! So yes, we have a potential crit amazing. in our midst. This, this what is some serious damage. It's, it's Man, Race's turn the for the big rolls tonight, guys. Seriously? Holy okay, moly. We were dead. We were dead. D20 plus one again. Come on. Like, what more it. could she do? Like, cut him in half? 20! Oh my god! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's for days! Alright, so roll... <laughs> Here's what you're doing. You're basically doing a uh, one d six plus one times two. One d six plus one. Yep, yeah, all that. Come on, get a good number. We want something. Else. Come on, come on, come on. One d six plus one. Here we go. Four. Four. 
So that's eight. Now add another D6 for your critic because you're backstabbed. Oh, so shit. add another. So you're at eight already. Now add one more. Three. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so yeah, you pop oh, out three. of the bushes, wrap your hand around the orc, and you like just jam your sword straight through his back as it like lunges through his chest. Ooh. Uh, Hansel like leaps back to avoid getting impaled by the force of the blow himself. And then it's like you literally just like pull the sword out and grab hold of the side of the orc's head and throw him down in utter anger. Like, mm. take that. All right. What? what? What's your What's your phrase? Come on, we need to race a phrase. <laughs> Shank a bitch, cut a bit. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> Something. That's, that's we'll think of it later. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah. yeah, I mean, you you eviscerated this. Sure. Um. Okay. Uh, with that. Ansel is like, okay then, um, <laughs> and turns and runs to help Radavan. Right here. Um, charges in, he swings his long sword, and he hits the orc. Finally, goodness. Or, okay, basically the orc had already been blasted by the magic missile thrown to him from Keliana. He runs in, swings his long sword, catching the orc straight in the thigh. Yeah. It like throws the orc up in the air as his leg comes clean off and he comes crashing down on the Ooh. ground. Dead. Uh, Kia is so satisfied by watching all this I think that's Dead. the first encounter where you guys actually had the upper hand. Owner oh, confirmed. Okay. So Not four for dead the first orcs. while. Um, now, that being said, Racer doesn't feel particularly healthy. No. Radavan, um, he's holding his ribs. Mr. One One Eight, a One 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 Eight. Um, he's holding his ribs and like, ah, wincing in pain. Um, what are you guys doing? Aftermath of combat. Wincing. Oh, you know like what? I owe, I owe you something for that, don't I? I really do. So, um, let me just, as a reward, for our epic heroes here. Oh yes, win. <laughs> There you go. All right. <laughs> Can I immediately go over to the one I helped kill and just like kick him really hard, even though he's dead? Oh, absolutely, you violent girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> just um, go with it. Right yeah, you, got, you guys are okay. kind of seeing a different side of Kia. It's like it, you can kind of like just see the anger and the incessant hatred she has for these guys. It's like when the magic missiles fly. Is that an 88? Thanks for the follow. But she fires the magic missile. Normally, it's like, ha! Ah! With this, it's like, die, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> she's lost her shit. It's like she really does not like yeah. these. So I'm going to go around and kick all of them. I don't care. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> kick you, and I'm going to kick you. <laughs> Smash the okay. things. So while, okay, so while Kia Liana takes her long lost hatred out on the dead, um, what are you doing, Racer? Um, I'm going to assess my wounds and see if it's something that uh, needs, like, a t probably either try and attend to myself or consult with Radovan. Thank you, follow man. Because I know that I can't, I can't help myself. I can't yeah, heal myself. You're kind of limping over, holding your side, like, oh, yeah. this doesn't feel good. Ray, so come here. Let, let, let me heal you. I and mean, that's what Radovan <laughs> says. Aww. Taking precedence over his own injury. Am you're I going done? to you're going to see the look on my face because I'm going to notice your injury and and note that you are oh. healing <laughs> me before you're taking attention to yourself. Look how selfless he is. It's only because what you've got this. For a human. <laughs> for a human. I don't know. All right. Okay. So, um, Radovan, do you wish to attend um, anything to, um, to heal Race's wounds? Yes, I'm going to sacrifice my Comprehend Languages cleric spell for a Cure Light Wounds cleric spell. D8 plus 2 for the healing. What a yep. nice guy. And you're down what 7, nice right? Guy. So you need to do 7 I to am. fully heal her. 1D8 plus 2. Alright. Okay, he heals you 3. Uh, it definitely <laughs> feels better. But, I mean, nope. you're still, wiggle, suffering wiggle, wiggle. A few, still suffering a few bruises there. Okay. Um, do you wish to do anything else? Um, uh, yeah. Just, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, so sorry, okay, go I thought you were talking to me, go. my bad. Go, your turn, go. Sorry. No, I was just going to say, is there anything that I can do to, like, bind or herb or poultice or... Um, you, did you, didn't you find some 
didn't you find some herbs that could be used for healing? I yes, healing plant. Oh, for removing poison. Yeah, no, I don't have poison. I don't think. Well, you know, you're not you're not poisoned. This would be for no. actual wounds. Not like you didn't state specifically that, but I know I do have a store of herbs that are unknown to me, only to you. Right. Which which ones are we talking about? Are these the ones that you got from the shop, or are these the ones you found? Okay, the ones I found, we got some deadly nightshade and healing plant for removing poison. Okay, that's right. Okay, no, you're as good. As far as the shop, I'm not sure. Right, no, you're good. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, there's not a lot you can really do at this point for yourself. Okay. Uh, Radovan, what about you? Just to heal uh, yourself, or physician yeah, heal. heal thyself? Uh, yes. Can I just do a regular heal and try to sleep at all? Uh, not a, not a spell, but a skill. Um, like, you want to just, like, do a first aid heal, sleep the night, to just try to get the two points? Yeah, I mean, I'm down... How many points am I down? Eight. Eight. Oh, shit, I'm healing myself. Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> I was like, okay, we're being a little stingy on the healing, as soon as you, you know, you have... You <laughs> well, have you know. You've only cast one spell all day. <laughs> Alright, like, I'll heal myself. The eight for another three. three. Okay, yeah. so you healed yourself three. Alright, I'll take um, it. Okay, if, right. you, if you want to do a first aid check on uh, on Raysa and yourself, then if you stay here the night in the morning after rest, you will heal a, a couple of points of people. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. All right. so what is what is what is that? That's uh, um, one D. You're going to make a fir- uh, a heal check, yeah, which is a D20 plus whatever your heal skill is. Right. So this is against. Okay, so for that's Raysa, for Raysa. You successfully do that for Raysa, so basically in the morning, Raysa, you'll get two hit points back instead of one. Awesome. And, and that's for me. Radavan. Um, okay, yeah, not so much. Just get the one. <laughs> I just get the one, okay. Yeah, you didn't do so well patching yourself up. Okay. Well, so, it's hard um, to patch yourself up, man. It's you ever tough, try it, right? you know? You, you know. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> okay, so you've healed yourselves as best you can. Um, the entire time, Hansel is basically just... He's, Hansel's gone, kind of scouted out the area around the rocks, make sure that there are no more orcs. He comes back to you and says, it looks clear. Looting! Okay. Um, so, Raysa goes straight to corpse lootage. Um, what is, during that time, Jay Nirvana, what are you doing? Um, I am. <sighs> I'm gonna go up follow Q, I mean, follow Racer around while she loots, because I am interested. Okay, so you're just going to shadow her. Yes. I, uh, Radovan. I'm doing the same exact thing. Okay, so there's like a little, so you're all like running up <laughs> behind her like a bunch of kids at Christmas going, what do we get? What do we get? <laughs> so you're making me touch the nasty orcs and you guys are just going to like, watch. Pretty much, yeah. Um... As you basically, all they really have, other than big orky falchion, they do have some. They do have some money. Um, are you disclosing said money, or do you want me to tell you, like privately, how much there is? You just tell me privately, and we'll see how much they end up knowing about. Okay. Um, so, if you don't want them to see you pocket anything, you'll need to make a sleight of hand check. Okay. Mo, well, thank you for the follow, my friend. Uh, slightly. Okay. So we got a seven. You guys are going to see everything. But I will make it seem like I was going to show them everything. Right. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. If, if, if I can't hide it, it was meant to be that way. Okay, um, so <laughs> you loot the orcs, you find a grand total of 27 gold pieces, Ooh. 32 Uh-oh. silver pieces, and 8 copper pieces. Ooh. However, the orc... Are they covered in blood? Eh, they're alright. <laughs> the orc over here, the one that Radovan killed first, also, as in his pockets, it what appears shiny? to be something shiny. Actually, <gasps> it's, it's more bluey. It's like a... A blue gem about the size of this D20 right here. Okay, um, do you wish, you could, if you want, you can make an um, appraisal check to see how much it's worth. Yes, yes, and I want to try and hide that one. Okay, so you want to try to palm that so no one sees it. Well, we'll appraise it first. Okay. Um, so, my appraisal. Come on, it comes through at 15. Okay, 
Um, your personal opinion um, is that it is worth about 300 gold pieces. Yeah, oh try to pawn that bugger. <laughs> okay, I've been um, shadowing races. So... I, I hear that, but that's why she has a <laughs> um, she has a sleight of hand skill. Oh. She's successful, so um, sleight of hand. Um, <laughs> it's basically your sleight of hand skill versus Kia's spot check. It's okay, true. so what do we need to? What's the roll off here? I want to well, know okay, before so what the numbers going to be. We're going to roll your sleight of hand. So d twenty plus. And see what you get total. Thirteen. And okay. Kia, you're gonna make your spot check, which is D twenty plus your spot skill, and see if you beat a thirteen. <laughs> okay. Oh. As you I, I'm I'm also there too, you know. Oh, you want to try oh. it as well? Oh, yeah, whoops. you know. I, I dismiss you because you're blind. Okay, so uh, you make a spot check as well. All right. Um. Not so sneaky this time. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, and what? Look at him, oh, look. nice. Okay, so. As like... So I will notice that Kia notices, so I will bring it out. Instead of bringing it like this, I will bring <laughs> it out like this! Notice, really Look notice. what I found! <laughs> okay, so you're gonna like... When you but, realize it didn't slide up your sleeve as, as well as you wanted it to, you're gonna be, oh, 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 look guys, look at this! But I will say, I will say, because I don't know, I don't think these guys have a praise like I do. I'm gonna say, Look at this. He's got a rock. Doesn't okay. look like much. Can I catch your bluff? <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. I mean, when you guys see it, it's obviously a gem of some kind. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, how much it's worth? Unless I mean, you, unless she gives okay, it so to you guys it to look like at. A, does it look like a like a sapphire or like does it look like like I mean, a? It's yeah, it, it, it's marine. No, it, it looks, it looks valuable. sparkly. It, it's I mean, three hundred gold pieces worth. I mean, it's a sapphire. I know, but like see, here's the thing. You know, because there's, follow, man. there's gems that look similar to each other. So right. I mean, I you could, could. The thing is, they say, don't know. What oh, this is this is definitely a blue quartz. <laughs> <laughs> Blue quartz is nothing compared to a sapphire, but they look similar, and somebody like myself will definitely know the difference. So I can say, "Oh, look, a a blue quartz," which right. is common. I'm giving her the eyes. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. I I want to catch her bluff really badly. <laughs> well, you know, unless she gives it to you guys to actually appraise, you're not gonna know. And <gasps> and bearing in mind, you know, she didn't try to steal it from you, so. Say, so can I can I look at it? And I put my and hand. And I'll be up. like, sure. <laughs> oh, she gave it to me. Now, are you letting her take it, or are you just doing like one of these? Here, no, look. Be a, look like, how shiny look, it like, is. Ooh. Like right here. Like, <laughs> look, look, look. Look, here, here it is. It's over here. Look. Oh, where is it? Oh. Okay. Give <laughs> me the stone. Yes. All right. I think it's the sorcerer's <laughs> stone. <laughs> All right. And then back, and I will put it in my bag. <laughs> so you didn't actually I'll get your fingers later. on it. Right, but, no. you, but you guys do know that she has the blue stone. Okay. okay. Um, during all of this, Ansel doesn't seem to really care. You notice that he's <laughs> actually gone to the campfire that the orcs had. He's kind of like poked that around. Um, and he's actually sitting down by the campfire warming his bones. Oh, okay. How big is this stone? Um, it's as I said, it's about the size of this D twenty. So if you can see it on my screen. I, no, I can't. Oh, okay. Um, then it's about, um, I guess Six? the size of an amp. It's, it's a little bit bigger than a marble. Yeah, about that. That's about sure. right. Sure. Okay. Here's here's my prop. Blue there stone. There's the blue stone. There's the blue <laughs> thing yeah. that you looted. I. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Hansel is, is warming himself by the orcs' fire. Um, he seems less interested in the corpses of dead orcs than you guys. You know why? That's why he's a guy that just whittles wood for a living. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what do you guys want to do now? What time is it? Um, no. it's, it's still pretty dark and pretty late. Right. Um, well, I'll divvy go. up the gold, by the way, that was picked oh, up, and I'll just I'll nice. loosely divvy it with the, the higher numbers in my favor, obviously. But okay. well, go I'll ahead just and... give them the gold, the silver, and copper. I'll just keep. Not a big deal, but... 
Okay, so go ahead and tell them how much you're going to hand them each, each one. Uh, yeah. what would you say it was again? Sorry, it was 38 or something like that? Uh, 37 gold, was it? No. Did you not write it down? No, sorry, I didn't. It was 300. Yeah, yeah I right. think it was no, that was the yeah, gem. Definitely. <laughs> uh. Well played. Okay, so if it was 37... It was like, uh, it was like uh, I think, let me see. It was 30-something, I know that. It was 37 gold pieces. Okay, so I will give them uh, 12 gold pieces each. Okay, so she hands okay. you 12 each. Because bearing in mind, guys, that you're not going to, like, immediately... You know, as she, like, grabs the money and holds it in her hand, you can get a rough estimate. So you don't feel like she's cheated you with the amount of money that she... I didn't. Right, exactly, <laughs> you know. Uh, okay, okay so, well... you, so add that to your sheets, guys. You've got those extra gold pieces. And you know that she is the current custodian of the gem. Okay. <laughs> and sorry, how well, many gonna... silver and how many copper pieces? I'm sorry, I should have written it down. I think it's, uh, 27 silver and 12 copper. So we, we get 12 more pieces of gold piece? Yes. yes. Except for Risa? Okay. Yep. And I'm going to go by the fire and sit next, sit next to Hansel. Oh, aren't you sweet? Okay. <laughs> nope, just cold, really. <laughs> <laughs> I, so uh, you guys warm yourselves by the fire. Um, your kitty cat has gone up here on the rock, like where the, uh, just lapping up. Like as the heat rises, the cat's <laughs> yeah. like absorbing all the heat. Like my cat's licking at the smoke. Right. Are there any any trees Not nearby? Um, no, cool. there are no trees. It's all okay. like rocks and undergrowth. Okay. Is it like mossy undergrowth? Um. Okay, here's what I'm asking. Degree, I want to yeah. know if it's that moss that I can like cut through it. Open it up and get in like a blanket and put nice. it over top of myself. Um, not that much. No, okay. But I mean, you, you guys have got a fire here, so. Okay. A fire right here. Yeah, I just want to hide. Well, I mean, you could do the same. You could hide up on the rocks next to the cat. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm injured, <laughs> so I need I need warmth. I'm guessing. Yeah. I. I just lay against the rocks and close my eyes, wary. So, um, move you to where you want to be. Uh, race up. Yeah. Oh, race. I am going to put myself here. All right. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick break. You have um, successfully guarded the orcs. Orcs. All right. <laughs> okay. So, so um, did we all go to sleep? You, I'm you, hurt. Ugh. You rest up Ugh. here. Um, rest up here until the following day. So I get two points of healing overnight, right? right. Okay. How hey. far away are we from this full moon? Um, you've got about a day and a half to go. <sighs> so we got time to kind of scout around and check out the whereabouts and see where we think it would be the best spot to be for the. Uh, um. Yes. yes, yes the yes, full yes. moon. Right. Well, basically. <laughs> I was just gonna suggest we all split up. That's probably the worst idea possible right now. <laughs> I was thinking that too, but I the same conclusion. <laughs> I like, not, ah. Considering how dangerous this area is, being solo yeah. might not be awesome. But you know what? You guys, someone asked if I'd let you guys die in a, in the campaign. You go and split up and see what happens. <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. I think I'll I think I'll stick around. Yeah. All right, so um, I'd like to keep playing. You guys kind of rest here. Um, it's morning, and the gray spire mountains loom ahead of you. Oh. oh well, did the battle actually take place in the mountains, or was it more in the fields? Um, no. Well, if you see on the map, um, it's kind of in the foothills around the mountain. So we don't really want to venture into the mountains too terribly much. Um. Well, it depends. I mean, you guys know that it has to be, like, rocky, that this stuff only grows on rocks, and this is mostly, I mean, there are rocks here, but a lot of this terrain is more kind of, um, what's the word? Do you want to explain just really quickly what we're looking for for the new people? Um, yeah, the, um, they are looking for a almost magical plant. It's known as the six-finger plant or the hexabomb. Which allegedly only grows on rock where blood has been spilt, and it apparently blooms under a full moon, and it will basically grow, 
bloom, and die all inside of 12 hours. So this thing is like extremely hard to find. Not or non-existent, I guess. At all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, mm. so yeah, I mean, you're, there's rocks right here. And blood has been spilled on it because we killed some orcs. There, there ha that's true. You could gamble and just stay right here and wait for the full moon <laughs> in the hope that this is a happening spot. <laughs> and we like have a you day to trek ahead. A day and uh, until well, basically, midnight. Basically, um, you have like you've got two days. You've got today and tomorrow. Tomorrow night is the full moon. So not mm. tonight, but the you know the the following night. Okay. Hmm. What should we do, guys? Okay, well, Raisa has knowledge of plants, so, you know, would she be able to kind of scout the the terrain and kind of make her best guesstimate as to where she thinks this magical plant will probably bloom um, based on her herbology knowledge? You can try to make a herbalist roll if you wish. And likewise, can Radovan potentially do a history roll to see if there's more blood spilled north of us or south of us or in this um, I will allow okay race that you got a 22 yeah I'll, I'll go with that nice. nice I'll go with that you can do a local history roll red event to see All if right. you know if you know any of where the bigger battles may or may not have happened um I will probably do that too depending on how he rolls <laughs> <laughs> yeah how we roll how uh, we roll okay All right. yeah I'm gonna do mine Hi. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> local Oh yeah, I did much oh, yeah, better. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys, it's you know that the field of sorrow was where a lot of the bloodshed happened, like, which is like over, you know, kind of um, eastwards, and you know that that's not rocky terrain, so the plant's not going to grow there. Right. Um, you know that there were a lot of the orcs were chased into the mountains and cut down inside the mountains, so you know there's been blood spilt in the mountain. Um, but, you know, Raysa, what you do know is this stuff, when they say it, it likes to grow in rocky terrain, it does, with a 22, you do know that it does tend to be higher altitude rock, not like just, you know, your gut tells you that the mountains is where you would need to go to find this. The odds of finding it this low down are very slim. Okay. Into the mountain! <laughs> I just, you right can we take sure. the cart and the horse well, with us at this point? Uh, at that point, um, when you say you know it's time to go into the mountains, Hansel says, "Well, there's no way this cart's going through there, so I'll tell you what. Why do don't it. I stay and guard the cart? You go off and do whatever fool's errand you're on, and I'll be here when you get back." Ah, that sounds like a great idea to me, actually. Really, you're gonna leave your boy toy down alone, <laughs> standing guard with the horse? He's not alone. He's, he's got He'd be better. Pony. It's better him he's than got, like me standing he's there. Got I, I feel safe. Guys, whoa, 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 whoa! He has a horse that was attacked by a an undead skeleton and a homunculus or whatever. And this dogs. Is a, and dogs. But it's this still is alive. a magnet. It's if ever alive. there was a magnet. <laughs> Do you want to stay behind? Medical cat. Uh, no, out. hell no. I don't. Follow, dude. Medical cat. I'm surprised that you're so willing to leave him alone, Kia, since you're so well. infatuated with him. <laughs> no response, I guess. <laughs> no response. Well, okay, well, let's go. That's a great Shut idea. Shut my mouth. Off. Yeah. Shut my mouth. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Elves. Seriously. <laughs> I just uh, think the way, him than any way, of us. Huh? I wouldn't survive. Raisa wouldn't survive. And we need you. To protect us when we go in there so right okay okay so you you happy with hansel falafel guarding the cart for you guys well, how much yes. stuff is how much shit is still in the cart like can we <laughs> well the stuff in the cart in? is mostly like grain and stuff to feed the horse and everything so we can leave that i mean why would you want to bury it yeah no that's that's I don't want to. Let's go. No. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright. Yeah, we're so... good. We don't need Hansel Falafel. Okay, so you're going to let Hans take uh... care of the cart and poor old Bill. And you guys are going to head towards the mountain. Dun, dun, dun. All right, well, the good news is you're not trying to go into the mountains at night. It's like early 
You know, it's kind of like late morning, midday scout. by the time you get there. Hey. Aight, do you wish to try to scout ahead? Might as well. Aight, so, um... I'm gonna just send Cal with you. Oh, okay. that sounds good. So, yeah. Cal the good. kitty... You guys can go friend away. each other. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Cal the kitty, um, flea bag, um, as he's affectionately known, <laughs> um, by Redavan. Um, <laughs> and Racer head into the mountains. Okay. Well, the rough, rugged terrain is becoming more and more awkward, transvert. Um, as you start a slow but steady climb upwards, picking your way through the rock. Ooh. Eventually, you are able to pick your way through the mountainous and rocky terrain and find a suitable path to follow. Travel here is not easy, and you have to choose your footsteps very carefully. Oh, no. Dang it. Okay, that so guess Radavan's what we're doing. Dead. Let's make a climb check, everybody. Oh, look, Red Man <laughs> fell, everyone. Oh, no. What are the odds? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, climb checks, please. <laughs> ah, yes. Race up four, Kia 15. Oh, I don't even know what my climb one, is. It's one. like I'm horrible, drunk. right? Negative yes, eight. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Thank you, Fuzzies. Thanks for the follow, bud. Right. This is going to be bad. It. You eat. Are you like at minus seven? <laughs> oh, minus seven! <laughs> <laughs> what happens? What happens? Okay, first? so Kia, Liana, and Cal pick their way through the box. Raisa, as she stealthily oh, attempted to slide forward, kind of slips and grazes her. Uh, and you basically slip and slide down some of the rocks, doing about one point of damage in grazing damage. It's nothing bad, but it's like sore and hurts a little bit. But you don't fall far. However. <laughs> However, I'm dead, uh, right? Like you can shutter me down, I'm right? Just, I'm just gonna roll these dice here for damage now. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, Radavan as he attempts to climb, you with his cumbersome armor, it's just like it's what it's like trying to push a tin can up a hill, really. Um, <laughs> but he slip slides. Um, the armor makes it a nice shiny surface as he glides down about 20 feet of rock, um, eventually coming crashing against the back of a nasty, pointy, jagged rock himself, taking three points of damage. And he's like, oh, Ow, that really hurt. <laughs> Way to be Better stealth, Radovan. Look at my man. Thanks for the follow, bud. Um, uh, I guess I'm started. ahead of everybody. Santana ZX, thank you for the follow. Uh, so yeah, uh, Radovan is about 20 foot below you, basically clinging to a rock, and like going, phew, my back hurts. <laughs> um, you know, it's like an old man. Raisa is, she just kind of slipped and slid and ate a, ve a few very small pebbles, and Kia Liana is up there again like, come on guys, just doing like flips the through the rocks. Are yeah. any of those pebbles shiny? No. Actually doing back flips. <laughs> um, okay. Radavan, so uh, at, you've taken another three points of damage. Do you wish to address? You wish to address your wounds now, or do you want to just tough it up? I'm gonna tough it up. I'm yeah. Ah, look at him. You, I mean, you're you're full. You're at full. For your full spell threshold, don't not cast a single spell yet. Yeah, I'm gonna tough it out for a little bit. Okay, all right. So you guys continue to climb up through the mountains. All right, you you guys are so awesome. <laughs> oh, I've gone back a map. Here we are. Dum dum. Dum dum dum. 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 Okay. Uh, huh. Racer oh. is actually at the front because what? he is scouting. You guys see this? Okay. Yep, yep. Yep. Right. So this is your kind of like you found this pathway going through the mountains. So, um... Okay. I guess I'll scout away. <laughs> scout right. away. I just kind of I would like to, I would like to, can I climb up here? Uh, no, that's way, well, you can, but you're going to need a serious climb check. That's like sheer mountain, sir. No, right. don't do it. <laughs> that's like pretty, just, pretty hefty. I don't like this whole, like, skinny pathway thing. It makes me nervous. I can't hide. <laughs> so, um... Okay, well, I guess. I, can I listen? Like, can I? Um, can I look for any traps? 
super um, paranoid. If you Jeez. wish, <laughs> you may make a search roll for traps. Dude, it, it's a, a hey, thin pathway with thing. nowhere for me to hide. Well, then send the person you don't like in this party first. Let I'm me check. Sure. I'm just gonna check. I know. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm looking. I'm watching your back, man. Okay. So what do I look? <laughs> By being in front trap? of me. Okay. Um, you're gonna make a sense. search roll, but it, it, you're allowed to use it to search for traps. So you make a search. search check. Okay. Walking Bam! Alright. Dim rolls, nice. man. Right, as you move along the caravan, the um, chasm is pretty comfortable. Bad is like ahead of you. See any very old blood stains? <laughs> um, no, <definitely. laughs> um, however, Sweet. So I'm like gonna. Fossilized blood. No. But as you continue to, pa- um, to pick your way along the pass, you hear. A yell and what sounds like a whole bunch of sliding rock, um, some distance up ahead. Like, ah! <laughs> um, you, we hear somebody yell. Yes, like so. Oh. It, it kind of sounded like someone falling. Oh, I'm gonna hurry ahead then. Yeah, then also, definitely hurry ahead. My what sounds initial. like something heavy land and a. <laughs> oh. I still press on. Okay. I see, I'm gonna press on as well. I'm going to take up a really nice position tucked right behind Radovan. Okay, uh, <laughs> hold where you guys are. Basically, as you move up around the Whoa. corner. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Um, you see a man laying against some rocks. He is clutching a really injured leg with one hand and holding a sword with the other <laughs> in defiance. Towering above him, a huge brute of a noise. Stands some ten feet tall, wielding at l- weighing probably at least six hundred plus pounds. Its deep brown skin um, is loosely covered with animal skins, and he holds what looks like a large part of a tree that he is wielding like a club as easily as Radovan wields his morning star. He's like standing above the guy, gloating as he lifts a huge, big club above his head. And says something in a language that none of you understand. Uh, what do you want to do, guys? Can I charm him? Uh, you wish to charm the big massive but thing. We might as well try first before we try. We're gonna get crushed by this guy. All right, so you're gonna run up and go, "Hey, dude, it's okay." No, no, no that my charm spell. Right, well, charm, charm spell is like you actually have to interact with the guy and be I know. like, "Blah blah blah, and... blah blah blah, lovey, lovey, lovey." Well, you, you, you could try. Me. I don't yeah. have to be loving. Try diplomacy first. And oh, yeah. Well, yeah, bear in uh, mind, unless okay. he speaks human, it's falling on deaf ears. Crap. So go I, I, I go would ahead. let Radovan take the lead on this one. Let's okay. try. Yeah, anyway, you I'll guys let roll your initiative. First. Let's see how fast you act, because you guys have got to make decisions and act, because otherwise, within a few seconds, the guy on the floor is going to be squished. 21. Okay, race is on a 21. Wait, what are we? Oh. Doing nothing. Oh my gosh! What are we doing in this? Uh, Why do you have a minus like, one on your your initiative? Because my dexterity is Christmas. minus uh, one. Dex. I have a yeah. He's lame. So yeah, Shaggy, you're oh, zero. That's bad. Um, oh, thank God, I'm not the only one in the <laughs> below right. teens. I can pop okay. over rocks. Right, but... race up without too much discussion, because you've literally you guys have got about three seconds to decide. So in three seconds, race up. Tell me what you're doing right now. Okay, drawing bow, are we attacking or yes or no? No! <laughs> uh, my first instinct would be yes. Okay, so, so I'm going to listen to Radovan, and I'm going to let an arrow fly right Although in his head. Although, I have, okay, I have an initiative of zero, so you know. Well, yeah, that, that's I only just, on that, your action, not on discussion. Okay, right. Ray yeah, said I you're just... shooting at the big thing. Okay, yeah. make your attack roll. Roll those dice. Uh, are we point blank? Um, yes. Yes, you are. 20 feet. So I get plus five. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, please hit. Alright, your arrow flies. It kind of glances off of his thick hide. It almost, I mean, it kind of sort of hit, but it was at such an angle, it didn't really do any damage. Um, okay. Here. What are you going to do? Uh, can I grease his tree trunk so it slips out of his hand? Um, no. <laughs> Why not? Nice you gotta, you gotta hit like an arrow, you can't target a particular thing that's being Yeah, made. I did. I read it that you can target an object. Um 
Actually, yes, you can, can't you? You can target an object. So <laughs> I, I will concede that. I will, I will say yes, yes, you can attempt to do that. Okay. Um, I, so you're going to cast Grease on, on him and his hand, basically. Yes. All right. Let's make a dice roll, see if he manages to hold on to it. I'll give you that. Uh, he does not, actually. As he kind of lunges forward, the thing flies out of his hands Yay! and disappears up Please don't hit Radovan. Okay. So, no, it, it, it's, it's kind of like it was crashing over here. I'll let you have that. You're right. Um, Sweet. Okay, Radovan. Please don't hit Radovan. One up on the DM tonight. Radovan, what do you want to do? I am going to channel the power of St. Cuthbert and grow big. Oh, you're using a, you're a large spell. I'm using the strength oh. domain, baby. I'm I did not doubling know you my size. That. Yep. In Gorgio. I'm engorging, which oh, is so wrong. Oh, I do remember so you wrong. picking that one. Okay. All right, so, so many ways. You cast in large, um, which I double in you... size. Yep. So you're you're getting a you're getting a tad bigger. Um, all right. So you're kind of you're you're up there on par with this dude. Okay, Radavan cast in large. Oh. Watch this, guys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. With that happening, the little guy on the floor takes his opportunity and stabs towards the big thing with his sword, but misses. When the uh, the arrow hits him on the shoulder, his gray trunk goes flying out of his hand. He's like, huh? and is momentarily distracted from squishing the dude, and is now looking. Towering down at you guys and looking kind of slightly <laughs> down at Radavan. Okay. Um, at that point, he seems rather upset. He takes one leftward glance, guy over here, and then comes crashing towards you guys. What are you doing? Oh my god. Uh, Risha, you're first. Arrow fly! Okay, you shoot the arrow at the uh, uh, big massive oof. Go ahead and make a dice roll. <coughs> Wait for it. Come on. 14. 14. Once again, the arrow kind of flies towards him, kind of ricochets off and goes up and kind of glances uh... upwards with no damage. Kind of, a, you know, a little bit disconcerting. Kia. I am going to run backwards behind Radovan. Okay, so you're <laughs> going to take a flee. You're going to flee back, okay? And yes, get your I cannot afford away. being but hit. Radovan, what are you doing? For Connor. And I attack. Ooh. I say for Connor first. What do you say? Say it. Say it. For Connor, and then I attack. That's, that's weak. I say to the one for Connor. You don't, thing. but you don't know what that means. So no, you, you don't. Right. Okay, you don't. so you charge head headlong into this guy. Make your attack roll. Rather than, rather than. Oh my God. Um, are you checking? Uh, have you, you you um making your allowances for your your spell? Oh wait, no. How do I do that? Um. You know what? Let me double check it real quick. All right. Because that was a pathetic roll. I wouldn't mind, you know, brushing that under the, the rug. Spell are you using? <laughs> I'm, I'm not using a spell. I'm attacking. No, Just... the spell you cast before. Oh, the enlarged person. Enlarged person. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't want to get this wrong, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read it real quick for you guys. Okay. Um, most spells I remember, but enlarged person doesn't get you. <laughs> so you know why? Because it sucks. To <laughs> um, <laughs> no, um, Except when you're fighting giants, right. I guess. A large person. Okay, so um, gain two sizes, bonus dexterity, and minus two. Okay, gain a plus two bonus to strength. So that's going to add. It raises whatever your oh. strength basically is by two. So it's at sixteen now. With right. that, addition. and what was it before? Fourteen. Right. So that's an With additional the... plus one. So you're at an additional plus one to hit and damage. Okay, so, so it's so you still 1d20 miss. plus 4, so I yeah. still miss. So you still yeah. miss. Okay, so you uh... swing wildly and miss it. Oh, okay. No. And I say, back, foul creature. <laughs> <laughs> Try it, to it compensate. It runs at you and swings its mighty club-like fist in your direction. Okay. Um, it hits you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> For seven points of damage, the glancing blow... That was a glancing uh, blow. Yes. It's like, <laughs> boom, and catches you, knocking you like backwards oh about gosh. five feet. Oh, yeah. Um, so you're probably pretty screwed up right now. You didn't heal earlier a lot. Well, I was at how much health? I mean, my, I have 17 hit points. I lost three. 
but I hadn't fully healed up from the other fight, so you right? You're still down four from before, so that's seven that's down so plus 14, seven. So I'm at three health. You're on three health, Tank. Oh my gosh, heal wow, yourself, man. bud. That's wow. Yeah. That's pretty hard, dude. Um, so, what do you want to do? Um, next round, um, race Die. up. Okay. Okay, you, you his, basically watched this head again. thing. Yeah, you watch this thing kind of smack Radovan and knock him for six. Like, just brute force thump. We're going for the headshot. Okay, you can shoot at Rolling. Him. Go ahead. Fuck! Fifteen. <laughs> okay, um, once again, you fire the arrow. This time it does hit. You do D6 damage. Oh. You actually get. You actually. You guys don't realize, but you're getting bonuses to hit this guy because of how big he is. So do I get a D6 plus anything? Um, yours is D6. No, it's a straight D6. Oh. Or one. Uh oh. His, but a scratch. Okay. Um, Kia, what are you gonna do? You're back behind okay. these guys, so you're now safe. But um. This thing looks like it's it's fixing to beat the living bejesus out yeah. of your party. What I'm gonna do is use a ghost sound. Okay. Um, and I can right now what I can do is um, guys I can make as much noise as eight. I can make as much noise as eight normal humans since oh. I'm level two. So I'm gonna try. To, I'd like to make that actually sound more like. Yeah, eight from behind him, like, and they're gonna be like over here, over here, banging. Okay, so you want to make stuff. like the sound of like a, a charging, attacking group somewhere behind yes. him, like over here, sort of thing. Yes. Wait, you're gonna force no, 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 no. Oh. Well, you, well, you a, can't discuss it because she's not, not a charging, about attacking. It. She said over here, over here. Like they're like here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Right. As in a distraction. Like, yes. Right. right. I, yeah. I'm with. I you. would I'm love to you. distract him. <laughs> All right, so uh, you go ahead and cast that. Right, suddenly hearing the uproar coming from behind him, he's like, Ugh! and like turns to glance over his shoulder to see what all the revel is that's coming from behind him. Okay, um, which means now Shaggit, he is, you actually get an attack of opportunity on him. Oh, okay. If you choose to. Right or you can take this opportunity oh, to heal yourself. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, heal yourself. Oh, yeah, I have to heal myself. Yeah, that's, heal yourself. That's, You're important um, to us, Radovan! Yeah, I'm gonna heal myself. I be 8 plus 2. Okay. Before. Yes, that's not any better, but okay. You're now up to 7 hit points. Such a big thing. so bad. You gotta... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do the words up shit creep mean anything to you? So, nope. Um, <laughs> a little bit. All right. The guy Shoot over here. Head. Um, the guy over here basically. It's, it's he, useless. His leg is like seriously. It looks like it's broken, but he has like <laughs> pulled out from like his back. He's pulled out like what looks like a, a similar bow to races a short bow, and he's kind yeah. of laying on his side, notching the arrow, holding it sideways, and fires the bow. Um, which don't hit me. Hits the uh, hits the big dude for five points of damage. Yay. <laughs> so the guy like, with the broken leg can fire better than I can. There you go, right. <laughs> hey, he's a mountain man. This is Grizzly Adams we're talking about. Yep. All right. Is he um, a man or a dwarf? No, he's a dude. He's a man. Okay, good. He's Maybe. just a dude. He could be a Sorry. tall dwarf. He's got a big beard, that's for sure. Um, okay, so after hitting this dude with the arrow, <clears throat> this guy's pretty pissed off, but he's not pissed off enough to turn and run from you guys. And he turns, and now he looks really agitated and really vengeful. Oh, like great. Like someone's getting something. Um, oh, no. So, Raysa, you're next. I'm going to shoot him, hopefully. <laughs> Throw your bluey gem at him. your bow. <sighs> no. Oh, oh, my God. No. It's just... All your good rolls were this spent so earlier fighting orcs. This is oh. so bad. But the arrow fires and ricochets off the mountainside, doing absolutely nothing. Here. <sighs> Jeez, guys, creative. I'm trying to give you all of the. Okay. Uh, guys. Are there. <sighs> <laughs> okay, let me look at something really quick. Um, oh man, the fail is real. 
Okay, well... I guess what I'm going to do is try to have Cal run over and just brush past his foot so he Cal can give him the touch of fatigue. Okay, so you're basically trying to use your familiar to off, to, to land a touch effect spell? Alright, Cal goes... So you're going to send Cal over there. He'll get there this turn, um, but he won't. you won't be able to deliver the spell this turn. Because uh, you're too far oh, back. No, 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 no. Can I... Really? Can I not do any spell if I try? I mean, you can hit him with anything like range, but Cal, okay. you've got to let Cal out. He's got to run over there, and then you've got to cast yeah. the spell. So. Well, I might as well just use another grease then underneath his feet. Right. Maybe we can topple him over. Okay, so you're going to dump grease on him. Um, let's yes. give you an area. Um, Come on, Kia! Save us! <laughs> I'm going to go with... What do I think is a good grease color? That looks good. Okay. So you're going to cast in and around him, the distance? Or sure. behind him, in front of him? In front of him, right. Right in front of him, as far as I... As close as I can get it. Okay, so you're greasing this area right here. Okay. Yes. Right, so you dump grease right underneath him. Okay. Um... Sh 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 what are you doing? <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh, a part of me wants to heal again, but you know it's up to you, dude. Don't worry, yeah. I got it. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Make a decision. All right, I'm gonna attack again. <laughs> okay, you swing your morning star of justice. Oh. At the big oaf. Go ahead. D20 plus <laughs> oh my four, gosh, right? my life. Yeah, because it's this plus three, plus one extra, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, my good lord. You guys are sucking in color tonight. You got raciitis. Okay. You got raciitis. Radovan swings wildly with his morning star. I'm trying to of give Saint you Cuthbert guys something. Uh, okay. The oaf lunges forward. Now let's see who's he who's he swinging at. We've got Racer and oh, we've God. got Radovan. Does it fall? <laughs> so, well, we're gonna see who's going for first. Okay, I'm gonna roll the D6, guys. One, two, or three. He swings at Radovan. Four, five, or six. He's going for Racer. Let's see. Oh, Radovan. One, one, two, three. Or one, two, or three is Radovan. Four, five, six is Racer. He swings at. Raisa! No! <laughs> okay, Baron Imani doesn't have his club. He lunges at you with the fist of my Tyson. I can aim, can I? Okay, you feel the air of the force of the blow. You feel the air like swing right in front of your very nose as you like pull your head back and it's like. <laughs> A ninja! Oh, uh, but he did miss you. Yes. Um, however, as he lunges forward, swinging, he oh, has he's to gonna make... fall on him. He is gonna fall. Oh he's my split. God. Yes. He's flying up in the air as he comes crashing down on his back in the grease pile. He's yes. gonna defeat himself. Racer and uh, Radavan, you may make an attack of opportunity. Oh. He's laying on his back in front of oh, you. Oh, it's it, it's it's happening, guys. Arrow. Wow. If you guys miss, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh wait, one D eight plus what three? You gotta hit him first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is it my regular ranged attack? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. that's right. Yeah. My bad. Regular attack. No. Nope. Okay, Racer, you shoot, and guess what? Miss! Oh my god! And so, oh my god, you suck, guys. <laughs> you are the worst. I quit. I quit this, this whole is, game. This is so hilarious. It, it's kind of funny. Rigged. Thing. Rigged! Right. Rigged! Who rigged it? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> there, he's it. Shudder me, I'm done. <laughs> Shudder I'm me. out. <laughs> okay. So you you miss your attacks of opportunity. Right. Um, now it is your actual... Now it is you guys' actual turn. Um, your little friend fires an arrow, and he hits the fallen ogre. Oh, he does. thank of course. you. He hits him for six. Um, Good. So that's a total of 12 done. Okay, so... Um, my Our turn. ogre boy right here, um, you know, he is. Changed it. I've got nothing else I can do. <laughs> <laughs> he is Amber. He, he's he's hurt. He's clearly hurt, and he's attempting to get to his feet so that he can pick you guys up and smash you and squash you into jelly. Oh. Um, oh. So, Racer, what do you want to try to do? 
I'm gonna try and shoot an arrow at him. <laughs> <laughs> like this massive oaf, and it's like ping, ping. Ready? Are you ready? Yep. Here comes, here yeah, comes the arrow. Come on, Reese. Oh, yes! Hey, there we go. Okay. You You're gonna do one him. damage. D6 damage. Yeah, you know this is gonna be like one. Okay, ready? That's how, you, that's how it goes. Okay, three. Three. Okay. three. All right, three. Right, you shoot right, the three. arrow and hit the guy. Um, Woohoo! Okay, Radavan. Yo, I'm doing it again, man. I'm gonna get a hit off, okay? It's gonna happen. I grew big and everything. It has to happen. It's only logical, right? Here, here I go. Here I go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, right. You hit the guy. Hit him so while you're doing he's down. D8 plus. Uh, um, normally two. You get an additional one. D8 plus three damage, right? Eight plus three. One D8 plus three. Uh, there. Yes. Take it. Good. That's For all right. Five. Whew. Oh, that's tiny top. Okay. I mean, you guys are pounding this thing, but I mean, it's just so big and so oafish. But right, it makes an attempt to get up. Okay, this time it manages to rise to its feet. <laughs> it is now back on its feet and ready to start dishing out some pain. No! Oh, shit. I should just okay. keep greasing this guy. <laughs> hey, it, it, it's wor it worked for you so far. Yeah. Um, Why not? Right. Well, at least he doesn't have it his is your turn this turn. My turn. He's up. I am going to shoot him. Really? And I am going to hit him. <laughs> hit him in the balls. Hopefully. Shoot him away with mini damage. Right? <laughs> hit him oh, in the balls. balls. I do. You, you hit him. D6. <laughs> Basically, this guy's got like two. two. There's like arrows sticking out of him. There's like bludgeon marks <laughs> on his knees. And he just keeps on. Oh, what a trooper. Okay, Kia, what are you going to do? Let's just grease this sucker up again. Okay, you're gonna do Maybe they can get another attack off grease opportunity. spell, okay? Yeah. It's going well. For me, at least. I would say grease them in the bowls, but that's not the same kind okay, of thing. Okay, another grease spell. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That'll, hit, that'll, that'll just make things a little easier for other things. <laughs> right, uh, Radovan, it is your turn. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm, I'm, yeah. Lunging forward and swinging the Morning Star of Justice. Go right I'm ahead. near dead, but Saint I'm doing Cuthbert it anyway. Saint Cuthbert be powering your arm. 18, impact. Okay, D8 plus 3. Radovan. Mm. Radovan! Oh! Yay! Okay, this Did time, it. Radovan Did lunges it. forward. Shield held high. Morning Star comes down nice and low. Brings it up. Smack oh. right under the guy's chin. You hear this almighty thump as the guy kind of stumbles two feet backwards and impacts the ground over here on his back like... <laughs> and he is Done. dead. Yes! Wow. That was so scary. Oh. Okay, the massive, the massive ogre lays oh dead my God. his back after almost butchering <laughs> half of you. Hey, Tosum, thanks for the follow, buddy. Um, so, yeah. Um, he's down for the count. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> Radavan's bad. pissing his pants over here. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's like injured dude had to, like, move, like, shuffle back not to be landed on by the ogre. <laughs> Wait, do we get victory music for that? I think... Oh, no, I don't think you deserve victory. That what? was like a comedy of everything. <laughs> lucky to be alive. <laughs> we we you need have, you have <laughs> blah, 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 music. Yeah, right. You lucky. You guys are lucky to be alive. No, oh, I'll give you victory music. Here you, go. you should do that Charlie Chaplin music. You know, the, you know, where they're like chasing people around and stuff. Yeah. The Benny Hill music. The Benny Hill. That's about it. Yep. All right, guys. So you downed the oak. Wow, okay, I would like to... Does he have any satchels on his... Satchels of useless shit? Uh, no, he doesn't seem to have any satchels. He does have fur skins. Unbelievable. I'm near... I'm dying over here, and she's still going to loot the corpse. <laughs> the guy... <laughs> Not even a, are you okay, sir? Or it's how like, are you feeling? No, I was, I'll worry about you in a minute. The cash yeah, is excuse mine, first, me. bitches. Hey, you excuse know me as I squished by here. Excuse me, and I'm just kind of went over here. Right. Uh, the guy laying at the back, he's like... Thank you, strangers, for coming to my aid. That brute would have done for me for sure. He attempted to stand by. Um, he attempts to kind of stand, but as he attempts to stand, his leg just gives out beneath him. Damn it! I think that ball broke my leg. What? Uh... You need to help me back to my cabin by chance. 
and feed you and give you a safe and warm place for the night. What race is he? To to he, my sight? He appears to be human. Maybe I can provide you some furs to keep you warm if you're going to be poking around up here in the mountains as well. And I, as I kind of dip down and check the the thing out, I'm going to kind of continue on and head over, and I'm going to aid him in standing. Okay, right. Um, it, once you get close to him, do you want to make a heal check to see how much damage he's, or see like how badly he hurt, it, how hurt he is? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. Earthman85, thanks for the follow, buddy. Heal. 13. Okay. Um, not that you know how to do much for it, but it does definitely look like if his leg isn't broken, um, it's like seriously. It, it, so I'm going to comment as I kind of scoop under him. That does look to be quite the injuries. Let me let me give you a hand here. Okay. Are you gonna kind of prop the guy up? Absolutely. Okay. Um, Meanwhile, I am over. I walk over to Radavan <laughs> to see how is. Is he still giant? <laughs> uh, no, actually, by now Radavan okay. will have been. <laughs> He's deflated. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Check Don't make on me him too small to now. Come on, I still gotta. <laughs> <laughs> right. To see if he's still alive and. It's, oh, obviously, wow. it's obviously very cold. Radavan shrunk down. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, well, right. from the look of him, Radavan is. Pardon my French, but Radavan is. Y'all, he is busted up. He does I not heal. look well. I heal. You just um, healed. Okay, what are you doing? Thanks. Cure light? Uh, 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 yeah, definitely. I'm healing. Oh, a nine. There you go. You feel a lot better. Thank you. Good for you. Hey, Ooh. the blessings of St. Cuthbert be upon me for a change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you load up with the heals. Um, so, yeah, that puts you back up to... Um, you went up to seven plus. So you're back up to sixteen. You're pretty. You're pretty. You're feeling pretty good. Nice. I'm good, Kia. Thank so, you for those greases, by the way. <laughs> While all this is going on, you're I am welcome. going to be chatting with our new friend. I would have asked him his name. I would have told him mine. I want to find out more about him. I'm trying to become buddy buddy with him because he mentioned cabin, food, furs, and I know that he would know his way around the mountains. And I want to get information from him. So I'm yeah. I'm I'm just having a good old time chatting it up with him. He's a rough bearded looking fellow with animal fur skin clothes. And he's sporting a thick, full beard uh, and a mane of brown hair. Um, he, when you, he says, "Oh, he goes, uh, my name's Turin, Turin Draco," which incidentally was suggested by none other than one of our followers. Ooh, uh, yeah, ooh, ooh. That was the name. That was one of the names from the uh, the reroll recap where we were taking name suggestions. So Turin Draco um, was suggested by one of our friends. Here in the ooh, show. so I awesome. use that. Um, so, um, awesome. yeah, so, uh, yeah, you've healed up. Racia is helping our mountainous friend. Um, Kia, what do you want to do? Looked at Radavan and you go, ooh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and he healed and he's fine, so I'm gonna walk away towards the, the mountain man to join Racia in okay. her talk. And I will say, Kia, this is Tiran. Tiran, this is my, my cohort, Kia. And that's Radovan. Hello. Hello, just... I'm okay. glad we it stumbled is, upon oh, you. Is it a, <laughs> a priest of St. Cuthbert? Blessed me! Um, I don't suppose that you have a blessing you could bestow on an old man with a broken leg, do you, to make it a little easier for me to walk? <laughs> I hesitate. He says, I've got whiskey. No. <laughs> 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 no, I, I hesitate and say... Um, how far is this cabin we're going to? I would not mind healing you up, but if we encounter something else, I would want to try to keep as much of my own, you know, strength within me, right? Before I expend it all. So how far, how far are you? He says, well, Basically. how far, I don't know. He said, it's, it's about, normally it's about 30 minutes walk and climb in my current state. I don't know that I can make it. Shoot, fine, I'll do it. I'll <laughs> heal you. I... That's... May the blessings of Saint Cuthbert be upon you. <laughs> there you go. Uh, five points. Okay. Um, you, you you kind of you you bless his leg. You you, know, as you kind of raise your hands and do your thing um, as Saint Cuthbert's light ba- braids it, and you kind of notice that the you know the wound kind of knit. The leg seems to straighten, and he kind of stands. And he goes. Oh, that's better. I can put my weight on it now. Mm. He kind of hobbles forward, test how well he walks. 
He's still limping, but he is walking. He's not being. You, it's not like you have to. All right, that's good. I'm going to stay pretty close to him in case he happens to stumble. I'd just be pretty chipper and upbeat and. <gasps> so um, <clears throat> there you go. He's my new best friend. New BFF, right? Yeah. <laughs> you guys have never seen me behave this way before. You think it's kind of weird. Yeah. I think it's a little hit. What are the odds? Racer, Racer takes to the guy that lives by himself in the mountains and stinks of animals. <laughs> <It's like laughs> hey, uh, don't judge. That's right. Okay, so um, he basically leads you guys off, um, takes you in the direction of his encampment. Um, there's the, you know, as you're wandering along, he's like, and he goes, Oh, he goes, that was terrifying. He goes, I've been up here in the mountains a good while. He said, but I've never seen something quite like that. And it was quite horrendous. Yet I was hunting, see? He goes, there's some cougars around here. He said, and they don't make terrible eating. And I was sneaking up on them. I had my bow paused. He said, and then suddenly out of nowhere, this huge rock crashed beside me. I turned around and there was this monstrous ogre. that is leering at me while I was going to come in and... Argh! Being all green and vicious, ah, like a big giant bear. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you have anything to drink? Oh, when we get there, yeah. Well, let's move it along, shall we? <laughs> Story time a little later. So, um, I mean, you're gonna get a glare from me. That's it. Uh, basically, I glare right as back. Continue. He kind of explains to you. He tried to flee from it. He fell down the mountainsides, and you guys showed up and saved him. So he he's full of gratitude. All right, we're gonna take a short break. It's a perfect time. <laughs> So, you guys are led up to um, bum, 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 dum, dum, dum. Um, the entrance to our friend here. On the, um, he led you through the rocks and through the passes. I honestly don't know if you would have seen these things yourselves. They seem very well hidden. And obviously, this man has been here in the mountains a good while. After 30 or 40 minutes or so of rough, glorious scrabbling around over rocks and crags, you arrive at a large ledge. Nestled upon the ledge, with its back to the side of the sheer surface, is a rough log cabin. Ooh. A generous pile of logs sits outside the door, as well as a trough full of water. There is a makeshift rack nearby, no doubt used to uh, dry skins. He opens the door and, uh, and then beckons you inside. I'm gonna uh, walk right in. He's my nope. new BFF. Uh -huh. I'm gonna walk right in as well. Same goes. Go. And I head right for where there might be drinks. Okay. <laughs> Once you're inside, it's plain to be sure. Fire pit with a barely smoldering ember of fire fits in the corner. And the smoke seems to be escaping through some kind of vent above it on the wall. Simple table and chair also adorn the room, as well as a wooden, simple bed. The only other items you see seems to be a bucket full of water and a huge bear skin laying on the floor. Blade bark lines the floor like some kind of rough carpeting. Okay, he kind of goes over. The first thing he does is stoke the fire and try to get the uh, try to get the embers going again. All I really want to do is roll around in the bear rug. <laughs> <laughs> and you get fleas. <laughs> hey, uh, Once he's got the fire going, he takes a big pot and kind of puts it over the fire. And there's some kind of pleasant odor with, wafting from the said pot. Looks like it's some kind of stew or soup or something like that. Sir? Uh, he turns to you. He says, yes? You don't happen to have any whiskey, do you? I'm afraid I don't. Oh, I mumble under my breath. plain water here. What good are you? Jeez. Okay, thank you. He says, but don't, he goes, don't worry, because it won't be long before this heats up. He said, and at least I can give you all a nice big hot bowl of broth. Yeah, that'll hit the spot. <laughs> 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 I, I take a seat and sulk. That's what I do. That's what Radovan does. Uh, I'm sulking right now. Back turned. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. So, um, yep. You know, he just kind of like welcomes you in, and he gets the fire going. The place warms up pretty fast. Feeling a lot warmer and a lot 
you know, a lot more cozy in here than you were outside. All right. Um, well, I'll I go. Ch- oh, go ahead. Yes, right. Oh, I wasn't going to say anything important. Go for it. Um, well, I'm going to hopefully on our way back. Uh, I was able to chit chat with him a little bit because we're BFFs. Right. And I would have probably <laughs> tried to casually bring up uh, her herbalism in some way, shape, or form, and see if he is knowledgeable in herbs and plants, just right. to feel that out. So. Um, did we? Did we? Were we able to have any conversations about that kind of stuff? Uh, I don't know. Someone's still saying that my mic is bad. Can you just turn it up for you? Um, or... I don't know. Uh, I've turned it up. My mic is at max settings. Even on Skype. Um, well, no. What about OBS? Is it max on or OBS? OBS. It's, it's maxed on OBS. Yeah. I hmm. mean, I can hear. I can hear myself extremely loud. Um, but and you guys can hear me too, right? Yep. Should oh, yeah. we just lower our mics? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I've just, um, you know what? Let me try something. Wait, let me just try one thing real fast. See, a lot of people say mic is good. I don't know. It's hard to kind of understand. I'm going to change the set. See if that helps. Does that help anything? You sound different it's to us. Me. But I sound different as in loud. But not, not bad. Like, it's about slightly farther away, but it's fine to me. I can still mm-hmm. hear you just fine. Right. I don't know how that will come across on stream, though. Because, uh... I don't know if that sounds any better or if that sounds any worse to you guys on stream. It's really hard for us. Yeah. So, better, worse, same, no difference. Sounds good on the stream. I just listened to it. It sounds good. It does? Yeah. The only issue for me is the mic cuts out sometimes, really. Hmm. I think it's usually when someone talks over you. It, like... Mm. Yeah, it's a thing. I think that yeah. might be what it is when we talk over each other, the way it kind of cuts in and cuts out. But I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll look at that. Anyway, um, so okay. you guys are... Um... Yes, did we get any... Is he is he a Herbie kind of guy? I'm assuming if he lives in the woods, he'd have to be. Right, what are you asking? <laughs> um, well, I would have I would have brought up, you know, oh, you know, you your injury there. I, I, I like to heal via plants and, and things like that. Is there anything cool in these mountains that I maybe have never encountered before in my journeys that you happen to know of, or do you doubt? Do you pay attention to things like that, or is it something that interests you? Um, no. Pretty much, I live up here because I hate people. I <laughs> don't like living in town. Um, I've made my life up here. I hunt. I fish in the streams. Keep myself to myself. Beyond that. You see what I mean? I, I've seen a lot of things up here, and I've encountered a lot of things, most of which I wouldn't go anywhere near. Cool. Can I speak right. up and get straight to the point and say, Have you heard of the Hexabomb, sir, by chance? <laughs> <laughs> no. What is that? Yeah. Oh, it's this herb that we want to acquire and procure and blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Um, a strange herb, or, or what are we? What what is this? What is this herb you're talking about? It's very rare. It's supposed to be really hard to find. Hmm. Um. What does it look like? Well, it's it's rumored to be called, or well, it's nicknamed the six fingered plant, hmm. and that's all we know. But it is a plant, it you say. It blooms, dies. What, what is it? It grows, blooms, and dies in 12 hours. Okay, a kind of strange look goes across his face. He says, oh. What? He says, you I know? haven't seen it, oh. but I've heard some denizens of this mountain talking about it. Denizens? What do you mean, denizens? Well, they're not exactly human. What are they? Have you ever encountered... Goblin. We have. Oh, well, okay. Oh, yeah. really? oh, no, he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, why am I bothering to be all dramatic? I mean, if you've encountered them, Jesus. <laughs> so he's like, um... Have you ever encountered a cat? Ooh. <laughs> he, says, he says, not far from here, he said, there's a small tribe that they worship strange arachnids. They're now living up here for as long as I have. I've picked up some of the lingo. And I have heard them refer to 
A sacred plant with six arms. Hmm, bingo. Could be what you're looking for. Sounds yeah, like it's the right kind of description, but it worries me that they think it's sacred. Well, they think uh. it's sacred. Hmm. Now, goblins are, they don't worship anything. True. Um, they call it bones. Like, like this guy, are... he worship anything, worship that Cuthbert bloke, just because he walks around with a big cudgel. Hey, I, I did I'm, save I'm your ass, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Stoke that fire more, please. Are these goblins friendly or not? Friendly? Goblins? Well, they're not you know, friendly. There might be a few that you want. You could we could talk to without having to bust some ads. Did, nope. He said, "Mark my words. If they've got something in there that they find sacred, yeah, it's not going to be easy for you to get your hands on it. That's for sure." Hmm. Be right back, worshipping us. <laughs> oh, oh, milk. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'll just drive to me milk. for evil. <laughs> so, yeah, he's like, um, if, if you're me. really interested, I can show you in the morning, I can show you where the cave is, but I ain't going in there. You're on your own. Oh, that would be so helpful. That sounds amazing. Gotcha. Well, in the morning then. But feel free to stay here the night. Um, he kind of goes over and brings the broth up. He says, um, I only got a couple of mugs and a plate, so you're going to kind of have to make do. I have my own mug. In that case, kind of brings it over and just pours the stuff into your... It's like a grayish, lumpy stew, really. It's <laughs> It doesn't look the most appetizing. It doesn't smell disgusting. Um, but, you know, it, it's lacking a lot of substance. It's like... You know, some kind of broth that he made with some local herbs and water and chunks of meat, and that's really it. It's like Do I have meat, any spices? Soup. <laughs> Do I have any spices I can grab out of my little store and sprinkle in there? Um, I mean, you probably could. I mean, I don't know that you know they you could you could possibly you know flavor make it, it a little more appetizing. Yeah, yeah. Put a little bit of greenery in it. Pick up some bark off the floor. Yeah, probably would have. Mmm, floor bark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, uh, you guys go ahead and do that. He says, "Well, yep. um, feel free to sleep here on the floor." I rush towards the bear rug. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bear yeah. rug is huge. I mean, whatever the, this bear okay. was, a pretty hefty bear at some point. In okay. His life. Um, so two of you could easily cozy up on the bear rug. Um, um, is there any? Is there? Is there any trees around the immediate outside? Uh, no. It's it's like rocks and crags and stuff like that. I'm being attacked by a moth in my room, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa, you just took on an Whoa, ogre, you but you watch out for that moth. Yeah, right, that moth's got your number. Minus two. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to, go to probably cozy up in the corner. As nice right. as that bear skin rug looks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay down here. Alrighty. Yep. Likewise. Okay. Um, do you all kind of myself. get all comfy and rest up? Uh, Radavan, do you want to do first aid on anybody? Or no, I just want to go to sleep while I'm being attacked. I'm sorry. This thing's like flying like crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at him. Look. He's lost it. <laughs> Radavan <laughs> Rainier, ladies and gentlemen, the heroic oh, cleric, terrified of a moth. Attack of the moth. No, it's like going <sighs> crazy. I'm sorry. I don't want to distract, but it really is going crazy. Bring your, bring your keyboard at it. Well, I mean, it's just like... <laughs> hey, hold on, hey, hold on. guess what? Hold on, it, hold on. it won't hurt you. I, oh, I promise. It. It's true. It's the oh, truth. Man. Asa speaks truth. <laughs> Nothing okay. I can do. Alright, so, um... There you go. Okay, so you rest, rest throughout the night. Uh, wake up in the morning. Um, you know, he offers you some fresh water for breakfast. <laughs> from the mountain stream. We have um, rations. There you go, yeah. Y'all yeah, have got your food. own food that you can eat. Yeah, we do. So. <laughs> and probably more than extra because we had the rabbit, etc. You know. I had to turn my light off, I'm sorry. <laughs> you go. He's gone stealth. It's true. <laughs> it's gonna go right here, your face. To be, try not to be murdered by nasty little creatures, right? Yeah. I. Okay, well, um, in the morning, you know, y'all feed, um, 
He's going for the monitor now. I know, okay, and so, I can't hit my monitor either, so I gotta be careful. He says, well, right. if you people will follow me, I'll lead you as close as I dare to the caves where these things dwell. Sounds good. All Let's right. Let's get going. Well, he leads you through more more and more mountainous passes. His leg seems a little better this morning. After a while, he kind of comes up to what looks like a fairly awkward climb. He says, well, we've got to get up there. Wait, we don't have the map that you're on. Nope, you don't. That's because you're not on a map yet. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay. That's for everybody else. Um, okay, so <laughs> at the base of the cliffs, he's like, yep, got to climb up here. There's no easy way up there. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> well, we have All a right. grappling hook and we have a rope. So it's true. It's true. It's, who wants to okay, be you, in charge you, of the grappling hook? Do you hook? want to try to hurl your rope up the top of the cliff and secure it to something there, Racer? Might be an idea. Yeah. All right, make a use rope skill. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is such a thing as a use rope skill. Oh, yeah, no. Well, I'm okay. going to try it. Well, you, you swing and you hurl it up there. It kind of doesn't go that high up and comes crashing down. But you can try again. This is not something that you can't reattempt. But before she tries again, I'm going to take it and say, let me try. <laughs> fail, upset. fail, fail. <laughs> yeah, you guys both suck. Oh, Fred, thanks for coming, man. Okay, um, I'm gonna so, take it back. Right, well, eventually, after <laughs> after a roll several of attempts, you manage to secure a rock up there. <laughs> or your screen. What about my screen? Oh, you can't see the rolls. No, you can't actually. I do apologize. That's, <laughs> you didn't need to see them. Trust me, they all sucked. <laughs> 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 right, so you, you hurl it up there, um, and you manage to secure the rope at the top. Okay. Um, he kind of shins up the rope fairly fairly effort effortlessly, putting his feet against the rock and kind of just pushing his weight, weight out and clambers up the top. Once he's up there, um, he makes sure it's good and secured, and then says, Next! Me. Hi. Um, make a climb roll. Um, so you can have a plus five with the rope. Oh, so five on top of my climb? Yep, so add five to whatever your total climb skill is. Wow. Okay, you start climbing up. Um, let's see how far do you get. <laughs> Actually, right, you don't get that far. Um, you're maybe like seven or eight feet up, and suddenly you, you, know, you lose footing. Your, your hands slip, and you come sliding down. It's embarrassing, but it doesn't actually hurt. <laughs> I'm used to that. Right, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All the, yeah. He says, yeah. lean out more. Put your feet, he goes, put your feet into it. Am right. I trying again, or? Yeah. Same roll? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, this time, I got this. with his expert advice, um, leaning out more, you manage to kind of push yourself, and slowly but surely, you climb your way to the top. All right, now you're at the top also. Okay. Who's coming up next? I guess I will, you know. Well, Radovan is leave, climbing. You're going to leave me can at I the bottom? <laughs> can I yep. see Oh um, my gosh. Wow. Yeah, you kind of look around the area. Um, you're, oh. It's like, um, I mean, you're a lot higher up than you were. It's the rocks up here. I mean, it's very rough, <laughs> rugged, much like you'd expect. You um, get a plus five, Shaggit. Hi, that is my plus five. <laughs> that is his plus five. <laughs> oh my god! No, no, he rolled. You rolled one d twenty plus one. You didn't add the five. No, my my climb is one d twenty minus four. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> this up. Um, so with all that armor on, there's don't fall biggest, on me. Basically, he's slipping and sliding. He, he's flopping around like a wet fish on that rope. It's just he weighs too much. He can't pull his own weight up. He's so cumbered. Um, expected that. So, and you know, I'm being distracted by moths. You can't, you know, <laughs> climb with Kieran moths. Kieran says, is, Why doesn't the last come up and then all of us are trying to heave him up here? <laughs> Armor first, maybe. I agree. You want me to strip down? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't need to strip. Strip. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, all right. Okay, I did my. I did okay, my Kia's my... light little self basically scurries up the rope. No problem at all. I look at them. I look at her very jealously. But he says, "Well, why don't you take the armor off? We'll haul that up first. Once it's at the top, we'll lower the rope back down, and then you can climb up." 
I just look down, smile at him. He says, no offense, he said, but uh, you may be a priestess and cut, but, but trust me, there is a, there are disadvantages to walking around like a tin can. <laughs> Fine. I, so you take, it takes you about 15 minutes to take all your arms. Yep. All right, um, and then what, how do you want to, how do you want to secure it to the rope? Um, well, take the bottom part of the rope and, you know, wrap it okay. around one way, wrap it around another okay. way. Right. Yeah. So you guys haul Radavan's armor up. Once the armor's <laughs> at the top, suddenly 15 large ogres all jump on naked Radavan and gang rape him. No, um, <laughs> so basically, um, you guys, you get the armor up, uns- you know, take the, yeah. unsecure the armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lower the, 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 the rope cold. down. Good, good, good guys. He says, Charlie, you can get up here now. Sure. But now you would be without your armor modifier. So um, basically, your armor modifier <laughs> was pretty hefty. Um, so armor check of four plus. So you can put you can you can put six back on plus five. So you're at plus eleven nice. to your base skill. So d twenty oh. plus eleven is what Come you're on. at. Come Damn straight, I watched me still God. fail. Yeah. D20 plus 11. Plus okay. You barely managed to get to the top. It's like, it's, it's Everybody shameful up watching him flop around on the end of the rope. It's a buzzer. Well, it's cold. Okay, so you know? when, Radovan, like... when Radovan gets to the top and he's kind of like just coming up, I'm going to like kind of put a hand on his shoulder and be like, good job, buddy. Get off me. And he falls. Ah! <laughs> no. You know, but like with gen, like, with, with I, genuine, I genuine like with, with care. genuine mockery. Yeah, no, 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 no mockery, no mockery. Yeah, but yeah. like, Good like job, um, <laughs> with like deep, deep meaning behind it. Like Radovan, Slayer of Ogres, defeated by a rope. <laughs> can I, can I, can I, can I, dr- ladies, look away? Can I, can I get dressed now, please? Yeah, the, the, the priest of okay. Cuthbert, it doesn't look so dignified in his long johns. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Mysterious voice in the sky who's not Cuthbert. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you re- the rope. You redon your armor. <laughs> looking more dignified now. Okay, he says, follow so me. That's what you look like. Okay, he continues to rope. kind of lead you through various different rocky paths yeah. and chasms. And after what seems like about another hour, um, he kind of goes, shh, 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 need to be quiet now. As you kind of veer around the corner of some large rocks, he kind of leans and points what appears to be some kind of opening in the mountainside itself. There's about a 20 foot ledge in front of it um, and a rocky, dark open mall that like leads into the depths of the ca- of the uh, the mountain itself. It's that right there is where they live. And now, you're on your own from here, he said. One thing, if it's one thing to take on a cougar, Another thing to take on a bear, but I ain't taking on an army or a pack of goblins. That's your job. Been there, done that. Um, and just for, like, continuity, I guess, you, I would have taken my rope with me, because that means a lot yeah, to me, that rope. I wouldn't have left, you wouldn't it, have left it. That would have been yeah. kind of a, you know, that would have been a punk move. <laughs> Raysa would not have done that. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are staring at the, uh, the opening to this rocky cave. Um, it looks like there's some kind of flickering light coming from within, leading you to believe that there's some kind of fire or something is is um, ignited inside there. Does anybody speak goblin? No. I can speak goblin if you guys want. You can. I can comprehend languages. Yeah, he Ooh. has the ability to use magic. Unfortunately, to the last time with that giant, I had used it to cure a wound, so well, I didn't have you, it. But then this morning, though, you would have relearned all that. I relearned all that, yeah. So you actually right. do have one. I'm thinking so, before we go in here and just should listen all and these see. goblins, we should come up with some kind of plan, maybe try diplomacy, maybe try some kind of trade Tell them what for, for information. Uh... <gasps> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> what? What? Pretty blue gem. You think they'll go for their sacred gem? They're goblins. They're herb. Uh, yeah. You never know. Yeah, that's right. 
Potentially. Yeah, the good thing with comp as um as uh, Starlet just pointed out, comprehend languages lets you understand the languages spoken. It doesn't mean you can speak it. Oh, so but we you can comprehend it, not talk it. Got no. It. Yes, but that's good mm. enough sometimes. Yeah, can. Okay, so um, cave entrance is there ahead of you. Do you guys want to make any preparations? Do you want to go in? Do you want to completely ignore it? Tonight is the full moon, by the way. Well, we can't ignore it. We have to go in, right? Well, we don't have to. As long as we're not in the same place as the goblins are, we don't even have to bother with them. Nope. Well, do you think since they worship this plant and tonight's the full moon, they're, we can follow them? Maybe they're going to go Just see gonna this say, plant. Follow them. You could do that. Um, you I, could try. I don't want to be hasty to fight these things. Yeah. Well, we need them. We need, if they worship this plant, they're our best way to find it. Okay, so, so... Nobody speaks Goblin. Yes, you can understand it, but, uh That's so, not gonna do very... Yeah, I mean... We can the, listen in. You, we could possibly can, follow them and ambush one or two instead of having to take on the whole horde. Right. Yeah. But if we do that, you're gonna have to tie your rope around me so I can we can navigate the tunnels together, because I will have to hang back pretty far, because I'm so noisy, and it's tunnels, the sound will travel, <laughs> you know? True. Take like, your armor off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, but, oh, well, that's the, we can do your idea, Raisa, but I have to hang back. No, it's um, true. Your mountain it's, man, basically, he says yeah. that he's. Why don't we? He's going back to his. Um, he's going back to his okay. hut. And he Thank will you. Be there, um, should you be alive and decide to come back and find him, that he will. He'll be there waiting for you. If you. All right. <laughs> Kia, if you do your whisper spell to me and you have your cat out, I can hear what they're saying and whisper to you what I understand them to say if you encounter them, since I'm farther back and I can't necessarily hear them. True. Maybe. Wait. So tie the rope to me so Raisa can sneak ahead with you, Kia. Okay. Have your cat out, Cal, but whisper me so then I can hear via through what you guys hear and okay. tell you what and they're so saying. We'll just try uh, to listen That's in. not going to work. Because not. she won't be able to understand oh, yeah. what they're saying. You'd have to be the one listening. I'd have to be the one. You've got to hear it. Yeah. The comprehend uh, language is the word. You actually have to hear the language. Got it. Nice. Take mm. your well, armor off, buddy. No. <laughs> so you can sneak in and try to listen for us. Yeah, and then what will happen if it all goes awry and we have to run and my armor will be away from me? Then That's I'll grease run. spell them so you have time to get your armor on. It took me 15 oh, minutes to get it off. Are right. you kidding me? <laughs> 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 um, 15 minutes to get in and out of a suit of bandit mail, right? The epic no, justice. It, it takes me like 15 minutes to take it on and off, all told. Well, so I say before we make a plan... Radovan, listen in, hear what they're talking about. Maybe they'll be talking about the mysterious plant since it's so exciting because it's happening tonight. Maybe we'll get to hear a little bit of what their plans are. Yeah, maybe they're a little louder than normal. So, so we'll go in with you guys and we'll try to move. No, you're just listening. You're just yeah, just listening. Well, we have to. Now. We have to see them. Like well, yeah, we, okay. I mean, right. Okay, so what is the game plan? What are you doing? Just go as slow as possible. Race the sneak in and see if you can find them, then I'll I'll approach and then try to listen in to see what they're saying. How's that sound? Because you can sneak Scary in and see- Scary as fuck. <laughs> well, you'll be hidden, you'll be obscured, it's a tunnel, it's dark, right? So you okay. should be fine. In theory. Hi. All right. The race Lots is sneaking in? Mm-hmm. And Kia oh. and I are, fo are following, but well behind. Right. All righty. So here's Raysa, Matt. Can you see yourself right. now? No. No, there's still the cabin. Oh, yeah. You know, I have to move you guys up, don't I? Here you go. <laughs> I'm Thanks. scared! Bom, bom. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Raysa, as you walk inside the dimly lit cavern, up ahead you can see what looks like some kind of campfire in a large cavern opening, laying not but ten feet away from you with a subtle... <laughs> Oh. is a snoozing little fellow about four foot tall with green skin laying on his arm clutching a um, what looks like he's clutching a spear in one hand and a hand axe in the other. This would-be guard is seriously on point, as you can tell. Um, but he is fast asleep on the floor. 
Ooh. Okay. Got one alone. Uh. Should we be killing these guys? No. No? So you gonna are you gonna come back out and talk to these guys or? If we come can back. capture one alive, yeah. Capture him. Possibly. Okay, well, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say there's a guy sleeping. We can capture him, we can kill him. What do you guys want to do? We need to somehow get this guy out of here, capture him, and try to... Capture him? him? Maybe we can interrogate him, although if he doesn't speak English, it's not going to do very good for us, right? We can probably bribe one goblin a lot easier than a bunch of goblins. How do we make it, though, so when he sees you, he doesn't immediately yell... No, he's sleeping right now. Oh, true. So we, if we can pull so him out... So put your, like, dagger to his throat or something? And cover his mouth? Um... Anybody have anything we can put over his mouth? I have my rope. We can tie him up with, but I have also got my cloak that it could, like... Let me see. Hmm. No, I don't really have anything. Um, I have a belt pouch. Does anybody have, like, a silencing spell, Kia? Can you make people quiet? No, I can't. I can only make sounds. <laughs> it's okay, got an so... anti-silence spell, really. It goes the I think way. Then what we'll do is we'll all try and grab him, gag him, and, and pull him out. But you okay. all want to sneak in, bum rush no, the guy, no, no, no. Or, or, you, or just race is going to do that. Just Probably Risa. just Risa. <laughs> yeah, because you can hear it now. He's a small guy. You can hear Red Man sneaking up on mouth. him. Clank, 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 clank. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're going to sneak up on this guy, right? Yeah. Right? Um, well, he's That's... pretty He's pretty asleep, so he's not paying too much attention to you. Whoa. You... Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, right, you sneak quietly up to the goblin. He's laying there snoring, <laughs> drooling on himself. What do you want to do? Um, I'm thinking he's only four feet, right? So he's like a child, pretty yeah, he's much. Not a, I mean, goblins are not very big. So I would like to kind of go gag him with the cloth for the grag, the grab, and the gag at the same time. So like, uh, okay, so I'd like to have like a cloth and lean down, like, stuff a your snatch hand and over grab, his mouth and don't try to pick him clean up. Snatch and grab, <laughs> grab him and out. All right. So before he even knows what's going on, I've got him gagged and out the door. And these guys are waiting for me just outside. <laughs> okay. Uh, make a grapple check. Now, your grapple, uh, if you look at your ooh. sheet, you'll actually have a grapple. That. Okay. Um, it's right there below your base attack yep. bonus. I got it, yep. So, so make D20 a grapple. plus? D20 plus whatever your grapple is. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys. Here's... And I'll, I mean, he's... no. Um, 11. Uh, okay. That's Seven. actually enough because he's unarmored, <gasps> he's asleep, and he's immobile. Awesome. So a ten is enough. Right, you basically Ooh. pounce on the goblin like snatch him up. Okay. Yay! Um, quickly, your your hand goes across his mouth. Um, you pull him up off the ground, um, but immediately he starts struggling like a little bastard. Like, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> um, okay, make a strength check. It's your strength check versus his to see if you can hang on to him or if he oh can wiggle gosh. free. So, um, strength is just the ability score or modifier? Ability score, you're basically, um, you're, you're using your modifier. So, d20 plus your modifier for strength. Okay. Against this guy's d20 modifier. And then, nice. oh, sweet. Okay, as much <laughs> as he struggles and kicks and squirms, your vice-like grip hangs on to him. Um, so, you, you pull him out of the doorway... Um, and outside the cave. I quickly take the rope to help Risa start tying him up. Okay. So you keep him gagged while you tie and bound this little fellow. Yes. Alrighty. Okay, guys. Well, that brings us to oh. the <laughs> end no. of our no. broadcast for the night. Right? Yes, indeed. It was a cliffhanger. Hi, I'm Gorbad, the Dungeon Master on How We Roll. If you'd like to follow my personal channel, it's twitch.tv slash Gorbad, or on my other social media, at Gorbad for Twitter, or at Gorbad TV for YouTube.
Hi guys, I'm Bane. You want to hang out with me some more? You can find me on twitch.tv slash Bane1271, Twitter at Bane1271, or Facebook and YouTube under Bane Blackstar. See you guys soon. Hello, my name is Shagget, and I play Radovan Rainier, a cleric on How We Roll. You can follow me on www.twitch.tv slash Shagget. Hey, I'm Jane. You can follow me on my personal channel at twitch.tv slash Janeivana, or if you'd like, on my Twitter at Jane on Twitch with a zero. Not an O. Peace.